Dungeons and Magical Girls uh, session, where we are continuing into the temple. Uh, one quick sort of administrative note for those watching: um, I'm switching over for this session for something a little different. I'm using a sheet of die rolls. Basically, I took a bunch, I, I rolled a die a bunch of times, and then put them all into a list, and then I I didn't change any of the numbers, but I reordered a couple of uh, uh, situations where I got like you know, um, five or six low numbers or five or six high numbers, I kind of sort of broke those up. So hopefully these rolls will be fairly even, you know, throughout, so I won't be either killing everyone or doing no damage. Hey, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Hey. hey, Mike. There we go. So that is the plan. So you will not be hearing rolling of dice for this session, at least for me. And we've got game table up. Let me just make absolutely sure we can switch over to that in... Yeah, everything's good there. And we're good with Skype. Uh, all right, so let us begin. When last we left the party, they were on a quest to find a set of scrolls in a, an abandoned temple uh, deep in the jungle. And they, they fought off some lizard folk and then actually parlayed with the lizard folk for the location of the temple. Uh, when they got there, they discovered a vicious uh, set of edder caps uh, with some, some tame spiders that they were able to fight off. And then they went into this very dark uh, sort of um, you know, upper level of the temple. Uh, there's, there's stairs going down. There's spider webs everywhere. One thing I forgot to mention last time was that uh, uh, those of you who go and sort of search in the corners find tangled up in one of the webs uh, a long forgotten um, uh, skeleton of an adventurer. And on that skeleton is a suit of armor, some guards on his, uh, uh, his, his, uh, his arms, um, as well as a pouch. And let me see what else here. Pouch. Yes, um, and a um, a small book, actually. Ooh, book. I would like to examine the book. Okay, the book is a spell book, actually, and inside are five spells. Ooh. Are these like rituals or actual spells? They are rituals. Um, um, the five rituals. The five rituals are, and it's basically one per page. Um, detect secret doors. Eye of Alarm, The Hand of Fate, Silence, and Snare, mm. which I believe are all in the first uh, player's handbook, if you have that. Yes. Yeah. So right. Both here. me and Chris have... Um, Ritual Caster. Ritual Caster. I, I do as well. Oh, great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All three of us do. Good. So can we all learn them then? Um, you can each learn one. But you can't all learn them. All okay. of them. Um, you, gotta, you gotta spread them out. Alright. Okay. Uh -huh. I gotta look through the handbook well, to see what they do. One of you has silence, right? Alright. I, I yes. think that right. I do, yes. I have silence. Okay. Um, so, um, what were they? Uh, detect secret doors. Hmm? Eye of alarm. As in, you know, eyes, hand, feet. Hand of fate. Silence. And snare. Okay. I well, I couldn't locate two of them offhand unless they're higher than our level. Um, they may be higher than your level, but that's okay. You can cast a, a ritual of any level. Okay. Um. But they should be in the books. Well, so. Um. Yeah. As they do that, I'd yeah. like to um. I'd like to look at uh, the like investigate the pouch further. Okay. Inside the pouch is sand. <laughs> very fine sand. Like a very fine white sand. Indiana Jones much? <laughs> Maybe. That's all, that's all I'm thinking of. Um, Would you like to do a check on it to find out? Uh, can, can I do an arcana check? check on you that? absolutely can do an arcana yeah. check. You bet. And cool, I shall... I need to remember what my arcana is, which I really should just remember off the keyboard. Mm. 
Top ten. Uh, twenty-five. Okay, yes. Uh, that is a pouch of vision sand. When added to the normal components for casting a divination ritual, this sand grants a plus two power bonus to any one skill check required by that ritual. And and there's enough sand f for use in three different rituals. Alright. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing snare. Um, okay. I found snare. What it is is it's basically it's something you put in a two by two area, and any animal that or creature that passes through it, you can set the conditions that allow it to pass through. If it doesn't meet those conditions, it attacks. I see. All right. Um, well, I know which which spell I'm interested in. Same here. Matt, do you have an idea which one you want? Uh, I have a lot. All right. Brad? Um, I was going to take either Hand of Fate or Detect Secret Door, so whichever one's yours, I'll take the other. Um, wait, oh, uh, that was the other one. Let me see what Hand of Fate is, because I'm looking at um, Detect Secret Doors, but I want to see what the Hand of, hand of, hand of Fate... Hand of Fate lets you um, summons a hand, and you could ask it three questions, and it will point to the answers. I see. Uh, um, or otherwise, it's like more it, interesting it, for Brad to have that if I can have detect secret doors. It can also do things like thumbs up, thumbs down. You know, it can give you an idea of things are oh. dangerous or not. So it's you know not just direction. I see. All right. Yeah, I'll um, take um, hand of fate. All right, and I'll take detect secret doors. I shall have eye of alarm. Write that down. Okay. There's also about 500 gold, plus the armor and the guards. Um. Yeah, can I do like an account uh, check on the armor to see if it's got any magical properties? Sure. Uh, 19. It does not have magical properties. Right. But it does, it is special armor. Mm. You, you can certainly uh, do a, uh, uh, like a history check to see what kind of armor it is. Uh, I don't know what my history is. Um, my history is one. Oh, I've got a ten history, so I'll do a history check on it. Okay. Uh, I'll assist. Okay. I'm probably going to need that assist. Um, did you get an assist? Uh, let me see. Uh, I barely missed. Ah. Okay, then I got an 11. 11. Um, I'll let that be enough. It, it, it's not interesting for you to not know this. Um, if you roll it really abysmally then. But um, this is uh, armor. This is called the Shared Suffering Armor. It gives you plus 5 to AC. And it has an encounter power, an immediate reaction. Um, uses power when an attack gives you ongoing damage. The attacker gains an equal amount of untight ongoing damage. Hmm. What kind of armor is it, though? Like, um, hide, uh, scale mail, stuff like um, that? I'll let it be whatever you want it to be. Ah. Just simply simple as you say. Well, I don't ever get attacked, so... Yeah, that wouldn't fit me either. I'm thinking this would be best for, uh... Karyon or Shadda? Um, I well, I think I'll be okay. Uh, if you know, we want the dude going out and fighting to probably have more AC. Maybe yeah, just well, hold I don't on know to if it. AC will go up or down. Mm. Right now, like um, you can wear it until Karyon comes along, and then you can decide who wears it. That works right. too. True. Um, pencil there, thanks. So, what do I... What, what is this armor? It is called Shared Suffering Armor. I have to tell you what I'll do. I will paste the description into Skype. Well, that's where the... Uh, uh, the ritual's gone. Right. Um, is that 5 to AC, uh, you know, a set uh, bonus? Like, when you have it on, it'll always have that plus 5? Yes. I see. Okay. Including the bonus of like what armor it is, so like the hide armor gives you a plus four, and then it'd give a plus five. I'm guessing um, because it's the armor. Yeah, I'm assuming that's correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. I'll have to check. Uh, 
Okay, so it would probably be hide armor because that's what I wear. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, I'm going to wait for Matt to check, and then I'm going to write my AC down. Five. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Did things start, like, an hour earlier? No, I don't think so. Because I think it normally starts at 7 a.m. my time, and it's yeah. 6 a.m. It, it seems we are a little, little bit, about an hour earlier than we typically do. Uh, well, we're going up range meantime. So, I don't know. Um, high down, give you a plus three, so you'll get a plus eight to your SE. Um, so that goes under okay. armor ability? Well, not not an additional plus eight. Just plus, because you're, you're no, already at rank height, right? Yeah, I'm going to basically take my high armor off and put that on. Right. So you'll get the hide bonus, which is going to keep you the same. Then you get the plus five. Um, so, I mean, because... Yeah, that would go under armor ability, so yeah. instead of having six, I would have plus eight. And I, I just checked, and sure enough, um, um, a set of tough, uh, plus five dragon scale armor adds a total of 15 to his armor class. Ten from the scale armor, and five from the enhancer bonus. So, oh. yes, that is, those do stack. Oh, Jesus, like 20 game tables just opened. Ooh! Um, so... I actually have no idea what hide armor gives me. I just have it on. <laughs> okay. Uh, this would be I a have good six armor ability. This would be a good time to run the numbers and find out. <laughs> yes, yes. Meanwhile, you guys do hear a chittering sound from the staircase leading down into the blackness. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and that's where the final editor tap ran. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, I suppose I'd do a perception check to see if the, the sound we're hearing is getting louder or getting softer. Good idea. Mm. I'll assist him. Uh, yeah, I got an assist. I'm not, I get the same number. Um, so, 11. 11 um, <laughs> seems to be about the same, as best you can tell. It, it could be going up and down somewhat, but with that kind of a roll, you know, it, it's obviously not... Going, going significantly or, or, or massively up or down. I see. Mm. We're going to have a fight on the staircase. <laughs> oh God! One solid kick to the face, and we win then. True. You fall down the stairs. The stairs, you all have to go down. Mm. So any, um, any time I could have a fight on the stairs, I'd make my um, players fall down it. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, we could start moving down. We'd just have Mike hopping along behind, trying to put the armor on while moving. Um, can I do Which another perception check? Hole go into? You can always do another perception check. Uh, I'd like to I see if there's anything, any large objects around us that we might be able to push down the stairs. <laughs> um, um, there, there's certainly crumbled stone, things like that you can, you can do. Um, I, I, I will say that, you know, anything you push down, you have to go through. Um, you know, can I do, you, like, you can like really, a user check to see kind of what we're, like, um, can I get, like, a, do, like, a nature check to figure out if what we're facing is, uh, like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I can't help you there, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm presuming it's, just I, I, it, it's I, that Eddie cat that ran away, so... Yeah, I, I just, just woke up. So, um, uh, um, that, that, that's cool. So, uh, are you asking, basically, yeah. can you, can you uh, do a nature check to, to see if the chittering that you're hearing is an Eddie cap or something else? Yeah, that. Yes, you can certainly do that. Go, nature check. What is my nature? Where is my character? Yeah. Um... It's in front of my face. I got a 19. 19. Um, it is an Eder cap, and it is something else. Ooh. It is an Eder cap, but it is something and else. And it is something else. It is both Eder cap, and it is something else. Oh, okay. But because they're mixed, you kind of can't tell what the other thing is. Oh, so there's two it's Batman sounds almost. Correct. Okay. And I just threw up the map from last session, just so you guys can remember what it looks like. I thought we just got down there, you know. It's just yeah. It's only the, it, it, 
We're going to have to fight it anyway, so, you know, there, there isn't much more else we can do to prepare ourselves for the fight. I can, however, ready magic missile, so I'll have that ready to be cast as soon as we encounter something. Okay. Sounds good. Um, is, am, am I able to ready a, uh, a, a arrow? Yes. And fire, and fire it being yes. the encounter Yes. Um, one thing about readying, technically you should, um, uh, you know, you should tell me w the, the specific trigger for that um, ready. Oh. Okay. So... My my trigger will be um, the first enemy we encounter, and it'll be cast upon that. By encounter, do you mean the first one that you see? Yes. And does that mean any any creature? Oh, um. How do, how do you know it's an enemy? Uh, uh, hmm. I never thought of it that Maybe way. Maybe the first editor cap you see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can we do that? Sure. First editor cap. First editor cap you see. Uh, magic missile flies. Cool. How about you, Mike? How do you want to sort of arrange that? Um. Uh, I would say that um, the same as him. Okay. <laughs> Can I just ask a quick question as well? Yes. Because in um, the other D and D, D session, as far as I am aware from like the handbooks, using a ready action forfeits your standard action when your turn comes around. Correct. Oh. Mm. Well, I, I guess that's fair, yeah. yeah. I'll still go with readying the magic missile. Okay. Same here. Alright. So, down you go. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to throw the entire dungeon map on here. Which for some reason doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to center on the grid. I don't know why that is. Um, let's try doing... Square grid, and then remember if there's some way of resetting that. Doesn't appear to be strange. Okay, um, are you guys seeing something loading? Yeah, yeah. no. Uh, Big question mark loading. Big question mark. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, good. Um, it's not. Um, it, it's a fairly s uh, small file, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, it's saying that illegal pod data underlies slash team temp 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 temple deep shadows level one aborting transfer. Hmm. It's just not doing all for me. Same. All right. Well, we'll give it a minute. See if it loads. Uh, let me just um, throw up a uh, pog or two. See what happens. Hello, pog. Hello, pog. Hi, pog. That's me. Okay. We'll get a minute, and if not, I, I may have to just reset game table, because the game table is just kind of unhappy. Um, so, my um, armor slash ability... Ow. My armor slash ability score is 6, and height armor gives plus 3, so I have no idea where this out of 3 is coming from. Can't help you. Um, do you have a shield? No, I don't. No. I don't think I can carry a shield. Anymore. Did you add? Did you add one of your bonuses to it? Because when you since you're wearing light armor, you add a bonus to it. Oh. Of uh, you add your dexterity mod, I think. So does that give you three? Dexterity mod, yes. So yeah, you, when you're wearing light armor, you add your dex or intelligence mod. So you added your dex mod. So it would be. With this, would it be dex mod plus height armor plus AC? It'd be, it'd uh, be dex yeah. plus hide plus the um, AC modifier of the specific armor. So plus five. And then plus your natural AC. Like yep. your 10 plus half level. Oh, well, yeah. Um, so that would be... That would be uh, that's actually really cool. That, holy crap. Where's my pen? That's plus 12 total, I believe. No, I don't think so. I think it's plus 11, because I have 6. So, it's, you, and then you add 5 to that, so it's 11 plus... Uh, since you're level... Yeah, you're, you're still level 3, right? So then it's <laughs> plus yeah. 11. So it should be... AC's 22? Yeah. Has the map loaded for anyone yet? No, Not yet. Uh, uh, let me go back. Still a big no. question mark. All right. I'm um, still saying the legal pod data. All right, um, let me... I'm going to restart game table then. Okay. All right, quit. Play do that, I'll be right back. Um. Um.
And if this doesn't work, I will just um, draw it out, basically. Okay. Which will kind of suck, but that's okay. Cake. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah, that seems to be like it's centering on the map properly. So I am hosting. Oops, I move it I am hosting now. Alrighty. Join. Jeez. Oh, okay, right now it's still a big question mark, but okay. it should load soon. Okay. Good. Nah, I'm not saying anything. Yeah, well, it'll, it'll take a you know, it'll take a minute or two. It's a big no, I'm not even seeing a question mark. Say. Oh, okay. Hmm. Z zoom out a lot. Are you maybe in a different point on nope. the grid? Nope. Hmm. So you can see the characters? Mm-hmm. Weird. <coughs> I can try regenerating the map in, uh... Nah, that would just take forever. So we'll just have to do it the other way. Unfortunately, I don't have any walls that are... Uh, this is gonna... Mm. We'll figure it out. Back. Are you guys seeing the walls I'm adding? Yes, I am. Okay, yes. good. Yes. While you're doing that, uh, what is... What is uh, Carry On doing in all of this? Is he being? Is he going to be like played by one of us, or is he nope. not there? He's he, he will be following along, um, not doing anything. Twirling his thumbs as usual. Say what? Say again? Oh, nothing. Just mm. Joke. <laughs> He's just making fun of him while he can't defend himself. I see. That's what makes it fun. No. Okay. So I think I've built enough for you guys to get a feel for what's out there for now. So you descend into this uh, dark, dark passage. Um, uh, what's the light situation? I think we're uh, all low I light. I, I have low light vision. There is no light down here. Okay. James, James threw down a torch the... earlier, so yeah, I'm guessing he picked it up as well. Well, does he? Yeah, well, yeah in the middle of the room, I mm -hmm. picked up the light torch and I put it in my hair, uh, hair, uh, headband as usual. Okay. So we've got like a miner leading the way. <laughs> my head's on fire! My head's yeah. on fire. Um, Whoa. Yeah, so oh, that's shoot. the... Where should that? We just covered that. Huh? We just covered that. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm? Let's see here. I'm not paying attention. What is going on? Wait, I thought we discussed where Carry On was. Oh, you're right. Sorry. One second. How can I push the map down to the bottom? Because now I just try to move the map and... Uh, all of the walls disappeared. All the walls disappeared. Mm. Fudge. Um... They're there for me. All right, never mind. And now I can't publish the map. There we go. Okay. This there. Is, this is going to really suck. I'm going to have to have the map open separately and then, like, rebuild it, I, you know, by looking at it back and forth. Um, um one second. While I pull uh, it. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm, I'm just battling nothing. Well, like always. Hey, now. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> That's not cool. Don't worry, we all do it too. Ah, uh, that, that, that will work. Okay, so you guys are in a uh, th this this very dark passage. You hear this more of this chittering sound from the east. Um, this is a um, this clearly was some kind of temple complex a long time ago, but you notice that the walls have been 
um, pretty badly damaged over time. Uh, you're free to inspect that if you'd like. Um, and there's just, you know, um, uh, there's a lot of time ravages on this place. Mm. And that pog does not want to show up for me. Um, maybe someone could do a perception check on the floor to see if we can divine what kind of creatures have been walking in and out of this place. Let me check my perception. I can try that. Um, oh, would that be a nature check? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me ask you something here, guys. Um, if you guys want to roll perception, roll perception. But please don't ask other folks to figure out who has the highest perception. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, no, I was thinking about rolling perception, but not on Sorry the floor. About that. I was thinking about rolling perception. Um, you said something about the walls. Mm hmm And uh, I'm still passing out. Um, so the walls are like time war. The, the walls are, are the walls are worn. The question is whether it's time or something else. Oh, then yeah, perception check on the walls. Okay. Go perception check. My dice is not hating me, but my brain is, and that would be a twenty-two for perception Ooh, check. Ooh, nice. Um, yes, you can tell that certainly there is some time effect on the walls, but also. Um, there have been creatures down here that have been uh, messing up the walls. You notice, like, large claw marks, things like that. Certainly nothing, you know, seriously sentient, but, um, you know, the stuff is being done. You notice even, even parts where the walls have clearly been, like, burrowed away. Um, so there's something down there that is nesting. Okay. Oh, or, or, or was nesting at some point, at least. I'm going to roll a history check to see um, what the what this area used to be used for. Ah, good. And that is a 24. Ooh, excellent. This is the first level of the temple, and it was mostly an, an area for uh, those who came down to this. And now, like the entire place is basically one big. Um, not prison, but basically one big museum, really, for this artifact. It's, it's meant to just store it. So this first level was, was more for folks who were coming here to venerate the artifacts. It's almost really like a, a museum level. Um, so it's meant to be sort of big, open and spacious, and have lots of, of, of places and, and rooms for people to, to admire um, uh, you know, artwork, things like that. Um, and so it wasn't you know, massively religious or anything. Um, and the, the, so the structure is pretty solid and pretty spare. Hmm. Cool. So, let's see. Um, I, there's no light at all, so, there except is. for James's headband. Correct. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the, my light power just mm. to light up the area a bit more. Okay. Um, like just this hallway or that room to the lower right? Um, I'll light up the room to the lower right. Okay. Ooh. You have to roll for that? I forget. Nope, it's just, a uh, power. There's an air cap in the middle of the room. Okay. The magic missile fires off. Arrows fire off. Okay, so do we roll like a normal attack? You bet. Cool. Um, That'll just be, I think, um, let me remember my magic missile power. Um... Uh, I rolled a, a 18 versus AC. All right, good. How about the other attack? That's, uh, just six damage. Okay. Um, does the 18 versus AC hit? Uh, yes it will. Cool. And 1d10 plus three would be, oh wow, um, 12. Okay. The magic missile and the arrow um, slam right into the corpse of the inner cat. Crap! <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, well. You're mean. <laughs> Maybe we should have um, specified that you're being inner cat. Maybe. Yes. It's okay. So I mean, be very detailed with a brand. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, th th there's no like, um, um, you know, there's no encounters. You didn't waste it. You know, it's fine. Okay. I, I am writing that down though. Be detailed with friends. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I am specific, but you know, I, I, you know and, and I say that to say you know, I won't screw you if you're, you know, not that specific. But uh, you know, yes, I do pay attention to what you say. Cool. Uh, should we go investigate the deep body of the other cabin? Probably a good idea. Uh, some yeah, please. file into the room. Okay. And like. Would it be a nature check or a perception check to figure out why it's dead, even though it's probably not hard to figure it out? Um, nature would probably be more useful. Go nature, go. Wait, what is my nature? Where is my nature? Can I be? There it is. The same as my perception. That's another, um, 22. I think. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, something clawed it to death. Going on. And you are still hearing chittering sounds, by the way, from like all directions. Mm. Oh, um, can I do like another perception check on the walls, or if I need to, about like ho the holes in the walls or anything? Um, what are you trying to find out? Um, like, uh, actually, no, that'd be more of a nature. Mm. Um, like, if 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 I could tell anything about the kind of creature it might ah, be, yes, if uh, by its burrowing, absolutely. Okay, so that's, well, it doesn't really matter. My nature and perception, my dice are turning away, are the same. And that was that was a horrible roll. Oh. No, no, it wasn't. That was an 18. Hmm. Um, it, it, it's kind of bad for me, but uh, it was a 19. Okay. Um, you can tell they are medium-sized creatures. They are certainly uh, significantly. Um, I mean, you know, they are clearly. Um, like burrowing style creatures. Um, that's about all I could tell at this point. Hmm. Um. Okay. Let's see, which way. Alright, we're in this lower room, mm -hmm. and there are um, two I different paths we can take. I, I should right? say there's. Um, this, is, this is sucky. Um. Alright, well, I'll do it this way. There's a door here. Sort of like a, a, a half collapsed door. Um, there we go. And then let me do a few more walls here. See if I can get all of this constructed. That's fine. See if I can get this correct. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're, they're basically two sort of half-collapsed doorways. They are basically just large enough to squeeze through, um, but that's about it. And you, you can hear chittering from both ways, actually. From everywhere and from everywhere. From pretty much everywhere um, and everywhere, yeah. Can I ready another arrow and this time um, have it unleashed on anything that comes out of the walls? You bet. Yeah, even though they're going to be in the middle of the room. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have that. Okay. I'm just going to be... <laughs> save it for a standard action during battle. Okay. Um, so, the door I'm standing next to, that opens up into a full room by the looks of it? As far as you can tell, yes, uh, with the light. Um, you do think you can see things moving in there. Hmm. Um, what do you guys think? Into the room or into the hallway to the south? Um, I'd rather be in an open room with monsters rather Just than... Just to be clear, you don't, you don't know that that's a, a corridor to the south. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, wait. Uh, are these doors, like, collapsed down and we can kind of see in there? Or Correct. Not really? you, you can kind of see through them, but there's enough rubble in the way you kind of can't see more than, say, a square. Square oh. is this. Well, if Wait, we so can we see... Sorry, go ahead. Um, if we see a square to the south of the thing, we'll see a wall. So we can basically just say, we don't really want to walk straight into a wall. We would rather walk to the west? No, that's east. Eight. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm voting for the door to the east. Sure. Mm. All right, so do we have to kick this thing down or something? Um, you can either squeeze in or kick it down. The strength attack versus the door. I'd rather kick it down. <laughs> All right, um, strength attack. Since I'm standing next to it, yep. that'll be 
step in and say, this is how a real man does it. Um, and uh, I guess since we're in a line, we're, we're playing kick the door, so I will step up and try to kick it. Okay. Um, I don't know what I do. So strength I would say, uh, Just ability modifier with the strength? Yep. Yeah. D20 plus your strength. Okay. What? Oh, wow. Um, I think I just, like, kicked the wall or something. Mm. Roll the one. Ah, yes, you stub your toe. <coughs> you take one ongoing damage. <laughs> the door now, the wall now takes one ongoing damage. <laughs> no, no, you ten now take one ongoing damage. <laughs> so, James steps aside and it's Shadaw's turn. Hmm. No, no, the, um, the wall also takes one ongoing damage because of my armor now. Am I the question? Ah, now? right. You, uh, I don't know. Am I the no, person on the left or left? Yeah. All right, well, that's a question mark for me. So. That's a question mark for oh. me, too. One thing, let, let me put in, um, let's see if I can't, uh, where is, there. Uh, oh, cool. There we go. Okay, so I guess I'm moving through and mm -hmm. making my, my attempt at the door. Okay. And, uh, 11. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right, at this point... Chittering hordes rush through the doors. And I want you uh, all to roll for initiative, please. Uh, of course, we're going through a door, not a wall. Uh, lost my dice. Okay, that was... Um, that was... That was generally uh, yes. kind of bad. Ah, uh, that was a six. <laughs> Total? I got 22. Alright. And that's a 12. <laughs> I rolled a 12. Yeah, 6 total for me. 6 total for Brad. And Karyon's just in there twiddling his tongue. Pretty much. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> shiver. Alright. As it happens, where are my there are my thingies? Who knows? There we go. Mm -hmm. We are starting with those. Don't look pretty. <laughs> those look like my antinoris. Whatever. Um. <coughs> and then we will add. Where, where that? Oh, right. Now that I've organized everything, I can't find them up any, at all anywhere. Um. So we will add. Um. Buru 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 boom. And buru 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 boom. And they rolled. Ah, nice. They rolled high. And these things rolled fairly well. So they go first. So to Shadaw's horror, horror. Um, what happens is you see a bunch of the, or a couple of these. Um, chittering sort of medium-sized insects, like they're as big as you are, and they're um, uh, just the, these horrid things uh, uh, clacking their, their their mandibles at you and striking with these huge claws. Behind them are two zombies, and um, again, to your horror, um, both of them will rip off chunks of their flesh and throw it at Shada. Oh. And that is going to Did be a Sharian? 14 versus Shadaz Reflex. Uh, wait, uh, dead on. 15 versus Reflex. And, yeah. Okay, so that is, ooh, uh, 
The first one does 13 necrotic damage. Oh. Ouch. And the second one does six necrotic damage. And six. six, yes. And Shada is weakened. Okay. Say that. Um, did Shara, Sharon come out of the wall? Who? Uh, yeah. Um. Uh. No. They uh, they both skittered out of the um uh, through that that uh, doorway. I'm bloodied. Yeah. Oh. All right, James, you're up. Yeah. Um. Can I not take a standard action because of the thing? Because of the what thing? Yeah, it ready for something to pop out of a wall. Ah. Um. No, you can still take your standard action. You can okay. basically, you know, ignore the ready and just go ahead with an, a standard action. Okay, then, um... um if you would yeah, rather... Was just um, if you'd rather that Sharon had burst out of the wall and you used the attack, that works too? No, um... Okay. One sec, I'm trying to remember where I am. Mm. Okay, so I'd like to move here and then use... Uh, Divine Wolverine Strike. Okay. And I'm just trying not to get everything all mixed up. And so against Sharon, Sharon, I'm not really sure. Uh, um, 19, I think. 19. Is that a 19 yes or a 19 maybe? 19 against AC. That is just barely a hit. Oh, cool. Um, and then against Bertha, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's like 822. Yep, both hit. Cool, um, and then it would be just a normal attack against each of them. So, against Sharian, wow, that was horrible. That's a, um, one plus. It's six damage. Alright. Um, and the other one is going to be eight damage. Alright, so against Bertha. No, sorry, no. Um, four plus seven is. Four plus three is seven. So, okay, yep. Alright, so it is then the Kruthix turn. And we'll start with Aunt Norris. She moves up on Shada. He, he's bloodied. And, um, uh, actually, I take that back. Aunt Norris will stay outside the door. And, um, uh, Aunt Norris sort of hunkers down, and then these, uh, well, literally, these spikes fly off of Aunt Norris towards Shada and Normakis. Fly through the air, whistle through the air. And that is going to be... Oh, a critical against Shira. Oh. And then a... Um, 19 versus Normakis' AC? Um, yeah. Okay. So, the first one does uh, 12 damage against Shira. Yeah. Uh, plus five ongoing poison damage, and Shada is slowed. Uh, okay. save, save ends both. Okay. And the other one that is a D8, seven, uh, that is actually also a, a 13 damage, so same effect on Normachus. 13 damage, uh, five poison damage, and is slowed. Yay. Yep. The topic. Wait, if I took critical, how come you took more damage? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I, I misspoke. It should be 13 for both. Oh, yeah. Uh. All right. So then um, sh um, sh Sharon and Bertha scream and slash at James. And they attack. See here. That's going to be uh, 18 versus his AC. No. All right. How about a 28? Would you believe me if I said no? <laughs> All right, uh, ten, ooh, um, 15 damage. That's painful. Yeah. Those claws are tough. And they are done. Shut up, you're up. 
So I take five ongoing poison damage. Correct. I'm unconscious. Oh! Oh! Ow. Ow. Yeah. Right off the bat. Mmm. That was at full health, too. Yeah. These guys are tough. Um, uh, so saving throw? Yeah. <laughs> All I can do? I, I would do that if were I you. And an eight. So. All right. So One strike. One strike. All right, Normie. I can use the healing check to stabilize him, right? Yes. I believe you need a 15 to stabilize. Mm. Or, um, I need to double check that. Do the 15 or 20. So, it would, you know. Um, that means I need to roll a 12. Um, hold on. And my dice is spinning. How thankful. That just makes it even more tense. <laughs> Spinning, 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 spinning. And a one! Okay! Oh, that's spinning! Okay. Oh. Ah. So you die. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no one could just pull the scalp and stab you down in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I will save you! Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> I am the tick! Where does this heart go? <laughs> 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 Alright, I've opened him up. What do I do now? Right, is there anything else I can do? Cause I, uh, is a heal check a minor or a standard action? That's a very good question. Um, I believe, if I can check the book quickly enough. I believe it's Tony. Mm. Uh, is it heal? Um, two bucks dying. Um, standard. Alright, then I'm done. Yeah, alright. Um, do you want to enter um, total defense? Isn't it yeah. also standard? Oh, yeah. you're right. It is. Sorry. For some reason I think it wasn't. All right. So, dear dear. Oh, saving uh, throw and taking oh, damage. Tra- correct. Yes. That's saved. All right. Um, cool. And I take that one going five. Yep. Oh, um, quick question. I know I'm unconscious, but do I still save from poison, or is that ended? Um, that is a very good question. Um, let me check the rules real quick. Um, y- you kind of go either way on that, couldn't you? Because on, on the one hand, you know, your body is kind of working it off. On the other hand, you're kind of unconscious, so you kind of can't do anything about it. Um, let's see here. Ongoing, ongoing. Um, Jim, Jim, go ahead while I, while I look this up. Okay. Um, first, can I use this corner as cover and peek around it to throw a spell into that room? Uh, which corner? The corner I'm standing right next to. Ah, yes, you can. Cool. Okay, I'm going to use Scorching Burst. Mm. That burst is going to target all three of them. Okay. So I'll roll for Ant Norse yeah, first. You can, you can, you can. Yeah, you that, that totally works. Does a 19 hit Ant Norris? Um, A 19 just barely hits Ant Norris, yes. And it's versus Reflex, sorry. Oh, versus Reflex. Um, yes, it does. And... A 21 versus Frank. Yes. And a 24 versus Face. <laughs> yes. Now damage. Damage. Six. Told you it was a good idea to light things on fire. <laughs> um, burn them! Burn them all! Uh, eight damage versus all of them. Eight damage on all of them. So those are the zombies plus Aunt Doris. Yep. Okay. Um. And no further know. effects. Just okay. Eight. eight, eight, eight. And just make doubly sure what those. The stats on those guys are. Oh yeah, they can take that. No problem. Um, Alright, let me just check the death and dying rules. Death saving throw. Dying. Um, Death and dying. Death and dying. 
Um, I don't see anything specifically saying one way or the other, and the rule on saving throws says at the end of your turn you make a saving throw. So I'm assuming that yes, you do make saving throws on your turn, even if you're unconscious against ongoing attacks. Alright, so I'll roll yeah. for it, and mm-hmm. I save from poison. Excellent. So, and that actually um, uh, saves both the poison and the slow. Um, no, you are, right, you right. are still weakened, though. You want to uh, roll for that? Um, yeah, I didn't realize I was poisoned, weakened, and slow. Yes, yeah, you were. <laughs> and unconscious now. Mm-hmm. I save from weekends. Excellent. All right. Oh, did we need to roll a save for the weekend? Um, the weekend was the zombie attack. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So it's not me. Correct. Um. Okay. Wait a minute. What happened to my? Oh, right there. Good. All right. So. The zombies, um, they're kind of happy with that. You know, they, they, they like what they're doing. They're, you know, they're going to go with that. They, they, they've got a good thing going. You know, they've got a skill. They're going to use it. Um, so they're going to throw more gobs of, of, of fetid flesh at Normicus. Yeah. My favorite kind of flesh. Yes. Um... Uh, 16 versus reflex. Yeah. All right, and the other one is higher than that. So, um, yeah, so that's going to be, so you are weakened. Um, so the first one hits for 11 necrotic damage, and the second one hits for 6 necrotic damage. Total is 17. Uh, I have 8 health, so I'm bloodied. Ah! Welcome to Dungeon Crawls in D&D. <laughs> Tyrander turns to Normicus and asks, are you going to eat that? <laughs> Maybe later. Damn. Man, everyone hates the D&D game this, uh, 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 today. Everyone's like joining the chat room for five minutes and then leaving. Hmm. That's okay. Most folks prefer to actually like watch it, uh, you know, uh, recorded. Because then you can yeah. pause and so forth. Um, all right, so they're done. So, James. Well, that was extremely painful. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, before I say anything, I want to make, um, Bertha mm. my hair squarry, okay. which is a minor action. Good. Um, and I'd like to take my move action mm-hmm. and turn it into a minor action. Okay. Um, and I'd like to nature check Bertha. All right. And... Um, one thing, I just want to make sure I have a paper out to write on. Um, if I even roll high enough, uh, that's, that's horrible. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Uh, Bertha is a Kruthik. Kruthik. K-R-U-T-H-I-K. Oh, I put C's. That's fine. Um, uh, nineteen doesn't give you too much. Um, um, it's level four. Um, speed six. Um, defenses are all in the high teens, mid to high teens. Um, HP is, we'll just say, between 50 and 100. And you have seen all of its attacks. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> um, and then I guess I'll just use one strike. Alright. Um, and for the hell of it, I'm going to use, uh, use, uh, one attack on each. Alright. Um, so on Bertha, I roll a 29, not 29, that, that, that would be a bit ridiculous. Um, a 9 plus 12. 12, 21? 21, yeah. Um, um and then... Okay. That's it? against Char... Da, da, da. Sure, um, that's some that that that's higher. Okay, it's mm-hmm. a lot higher. All right. Um, and so then I roll damage against each of them. Yep. Uh, against Sharon, I do two plus. I do three plus. So against Sharon, I not Sharon. Sorry, Bertha, I do five. All right. Um, and against the other person, I do well five. All right. No problem. Um, all right, so it's up to the Krupik. Um First, she uh, rolls to see. Uh, that does not recharge. 
Um, so, Aunt Norris is going to shift into the rubble, and yes, she can do that. And then is going to swipe with her claws at Tyrandir. Oh. Yeah, despite the cover, <laughs> we'll give it a try. Um, 12, oh, uh, 16 versus AC. 16 versus AC is a hit. Ah, alright. So that does uh, 12 damage. Only pretty well wow. damage on this one. So that bites into Tyrandir's flesh. And um, I am bloodied. And Sharon and Bertha still, they really like James. So they're going to keep on laughing at James. Um... 21 versus AC. No. Really? Yes, I have 22. Wow. Um, and then a 14 versus AC. Yes, totally. <laughs> um, yeah, so that will do that. Um, so they miss, so we're up to shut up. Then I roll for saving. Yeah. And I, I save. save. Okay. Oh, no, I don't save. I mean, I don't die. Okay. Fair enough. Right, um, uh, all right, um, all right, uh, when I figure that out, I need to run downstairs for like three seconds, so I'll be right back. Okay. Mm. Excuse me. I can force one of my potions down, she has to throw, right? No. Mm. Not when he's mm. unconscious. No. Nah, Very good. <coughs> you bitch! My chest is still open, don't make me drink that potion. I'm leaking. No! <laughs> Alright, I'm so back. This lung goes here. No, no, that's where his stomach goes. <laughs> Dude, lungs, I can totally buy a car with these. <laughs> <laughs> we can totally buy an airship, yo. Hey, it says gullible on the ceiling. Ah, oh, so it does. Ah, oh, you stole my lungs. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Go for it. Alright, so. I can't use, like, a healing potion on him to wake him up, can I? Correct. Alright. Hmm. Well, I think it's time to blow some shit up. Or at least do attempts to make things go owie. Do some um, blowing of the stuff in that here. Yeah, and that's that stuff, you know, with the thing. Um, right. So, if I'm freaking brace on Aunt Norris, mm -hmm. so that... A da 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 da. Eighteen against Will. Hit. Yay. Um. So. Oh sh. Bugger. No wallet curse. Um. D eight. D eight. That is ten plus three. Third. Thirteen damage. Ooh. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen damage, and I get. Um, oh, what's my intelligence modifier? God damn it! And I get eight temporary hit points. Okay. Good. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. I still have a movement and a minor action. Is there anything yeah. I can do with them? Um. I guess I could do an edge check on Frank. Okay. Hi, I'm Frank. Uh, da, 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 da. That was an 18. Mm. No, a 16, sorry. Mm. He has a name tag that says, Hello, my name is Frank. Hi, I'm Frank. Um, he stinks. Frank and Face, you can smell the stench of death from here. Yeah. Yeah. Um... You can tell its stats are pretty similar to that of the Cruzix. Um, pretty much all around. Um, um, you also get the sense that there's something nasty that happens when these things drop. I'm guessing something to do with exploding. Because um, that's what zombies do. And I guess that's the end of my turn. Well, I do have a movement action, so I'm going to move... Sha. <laughs> mm. And that's the end of my turn. 
Very wise. All right. Run away. I am going to... Let's see, can I? Yeah, I'm going to do Scorching Burst again, except for mm. this time I'm going to only hit um, Ant Norse. All right. So... Is Scorching Burst a range? Uh... Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. Burst, burst one within ten. Sweet. So she gets an attack on you. Oh wait, Maybe that's right. Crap. Shift, like, um. Yeah, Maybe that you know. always slips my mind. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll go for the zombies then, because she's gonna hit me anyway when she gets her turn. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, you, she, you, you, she's you, still gonna hit you because she's doing a ranged attack. Right. Oh. Duh. Yeah. Maybe you can. Uh, do I have any clothes? Let me check and see if I have any clothes. Oh wait, yes I do have a close. Uh -huh. It's an encounter, but it's a good close. Okay. I'm going to use Fire Shroud. Alright. And that'll be... 24 versus Fortitude. That hits by like 10. Cool. Now hey. I get my D8 out. There it is. So... Oh, yes! So... 12 damage. Alrighty. That was a critical without a critical. <laughs> nice. Alright, 12 against Aunt Norris. Yep, and it's ongoing 5 fire damage save no. ends. Alright. Uh, Aunt Norris is now bloody. Cool. Alright, so we're back up to Frank and Face. Um, so let me check the range on their attack, make sure they can still do it. Um, oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Um, they're going to they're gonna fling from quite a ways away, but they're going to see what they can do here. Um, eh, not really huge. All right, so um, they're going to go after Normie. Yeah. And they're going to be, that's going to be uh, 19 versus Reflex. Yep. And 12 versus reflex. Nope. All right. So 10, uh, 13 damage. Um, and you're weakened. Yay. Save that. All right. All right, so the zombies. Uh, so, James. Awesome. Um, okay. So, I'd like to do a nature check on Sharon. All right. Um, nature check. Go. That was equally as abysmal. Mm. Twenty. Same information. Okay. Um. And so then I'm just gonna twin strike Bertha all by herself. Okay. And try and get her him mm. it that down. Um. So the first roll is like a uh twenty seven. Uh, yeah. Like. Um. And the second roll would be d um a one. Okay. okay. So one hit. So one hit. <coughs> um, that would be seven plus my hunter's quarry of a one to take damage. Okay. Fair enough. Now, um, you move through to the cruiser. So first off. Oh wait a minute. It's yeah. Nine damage. Sorry, I forgot one of my swords have plus one damage. All right. Sorry no problem. That. No problem. All right. Sharon and Bertha surround James. And then Ew, we I go forgot. with... Oops, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wail on James for a bit. So, oh, that rolls fairly well. Um, 25 versus AC. Uh, yes, that would be and uh, 19 versus AC. <laughs> Okay. So one hit, two, six, eleven damage. Ow. Oh, okay, so like I'm bloodied now. Okay. <laughs> and then Aunt Norris is going to go after Tyrion Deer again. Another swipe of the claws. Um, I don't think this will, this will work though. Fourteen versus AC. Uh, that is a miss. That is a miss. All right. So yeah. So the, the tide is turning somewhat. They're they're not doing as well as they thought they would. So we should up. They're still oh. doing pretty damn well. Mm. No, they're still kicking our ass. Mm. 
I I don't take a strike. Cool. All right, Normie. Yay. Um, can't use my inca- my other encounter power because that would mean I kill Shadar mm. and hurt Sh- Tyrandia. So probably bad. I'm going to make Aunt Norris my Warlock's Curse. Okay. Um, and since I'm probably not going to be moving this turn, mm. I'll also make Birth my Warlock's Curse. Okay. Um, by the way, if one of you guys wanted to drag Shadar somewhere, I'd be up for that. Mm. I might do that. Um, hold on. I My mom's calling me. Okay. I'm going to go to I need to use the restroom. Okay. I'm mm. going to do... Hellish Rebuke on Aunt Norris. Okay. And that is a... Do, 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 do. Eighteen against Reflex. Hit! Yay. Um, so, two D6s. Where's my D6? Plus, const- plus charisma. No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, but it's still a D6. Mm. Uh, Constitution on fire. Eight. Eleven fire damage. Okay. And if anything attacks me next turn, mm-hmm. um, oh, then Aunt Norris takes uh, another D6 plus my Constitution modifier damage. Okay, nice. Um, remind me if that happens, just in case I forget. And I need All to right. roll to see if she uh, rolls. Oh no, she still has the ongoing five. All right. Oh yeah, right. I need to save against Weekend. Yes. I did not save. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll take a quick five minute break. You know, while everyone's doing stuff. If if you guys oh, want to. Um, yeah. Yeah, I need to help my mom with something. Okay. We'll take a break. No problem. Okay. We've been going for about an hour. Juice! I need juice! Juice! I need my tea! Stop it! Wait! Some significant damage was done to Aunt Norris, but otherwise pretty much as uh, as before. I have not uh, marked it because I'm not sure. Mm. Is Tyrion Deer bloodied? I think so. It's a good point. We'll check when he comes back. Because that would make it all of us bloodied except for me who's unconscious. Yeah. This is a tough fight. It's a level four encounter. And it's using the new um, Monster Manual 2 and 3 stats. So everything's bumped up by like one or two points. I was using a scissors to sharpen my colored pencils last night. Mmm! Sharpener. <laughs> hey, whatever works, you know? I'm, I, I'm drawing ponies from the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Ah, oh, nice! Actually, I was just seeing a, uh, a really good artist um, who does some My Little Pony stuff. It's like really impressive. Like that takes. Uh, that I'm, takes I'm, work. I'm really impressed with who does Friendship is Magic. Um, Lauren Foss, the person who also did uh, Powerpuff Girls and Foster's Home for Magic mm. Friends and Iron Giant. Oh, cool. Man, I love Iron Giant. That, that was like one of my favorite movies as a kid. Mm-hmm. The only thing I've heard about it are like the jokes and it sounds really weird. Mm. Um, it's it's fairly weird. It's fairly... I, I don't want to call it complex, um, but there's a fair amount going on. Um, and you, you do kind of have to be paying attention. Um, it, it's certainly not... I mean, I've heard folks say, you know, oh my gosh, you have to watch this like at least three times to begin to understand it. I know. Um... But, it, you know, they're, it, it, it's a nice heist movie. Um, so I, I definitely enjoyed it. I thought it was, it was a good, you know, a, a good use of a couple of hours. 
I know def- what definitely wasn't a good use of a couple hours. I went mm. out and saw Hangover 2 with some friends yesterday. <laughs> the main reason they wanted me along and the main reason one of them paid for my ticket mm. was because I'm the only one 18 out of all of us. Ah, uh, gotcha. And they're all 17 and 16. So, like, can you buy our tickets? Like, mm. uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I liked the first Hangover. I did, too. I have a feeling I'll like the second one even... Uh, despite the things I've heard. Um, it's funny you There's say that. There's a lot of she-males. I'm just going to yeah. throw that part <laughs> out. <laughs> Actually, um, some of the friends I saw Inception with had just come back from seeing The Hangover, and they were basically saying that that was a waste of <laughs> oh. time. Um, so, I don't know. I, you know. I've never seen it. but <laughs> Someone else paid for me. I don't really yeah. care. There we go. Like, the thing that bothers me about it is... Mm. Like they're not they're not being creative. They're taking mm. the same things that were in the first one and just repeating them with small differences. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. that's what that's what they said because I haven't actually seen the first Hangover. They're like, and I said I don't know any of the characters, and they said it's pretty much exactly the same thing, but in Vegas. Okay. <laughs> that's that's the first one is exactly the same thing, but in Vegas. Mm. So it's more that's the same thing, but in Bangkok. Okay. Fair enough. Hopefully I'll get so these walls. That's one of those wait until it comes out to rent or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, if, if you watch it at all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not usually up to those kind of videos to begin with. Now, does the pink signify anything? Uh, no, it's just solid um, wall sections when I don't have, I don't have like a one square wide wall. Oh. So I just use that to fill in when I need to. Squeak. Squeaky squeak. And I believe. Uh, do, do, do. Might as well fill in where I can. Yeah. So pink is basically filled in wall. Actually, um, while we're pausing, I can fire up the document I wrote up for that role-playing system and shoot it all to you. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Settings I wrote. Of these systems I wrote. Blood rights. Um, I need to make a PDF of it. So let me do that right now. Right now? Oh, yeah. You weren't here for this. Um, so, Mike, I, I made up a rather savage world and si- a role-playing system last week, and I was um, asking folks if they'd be interested in running, like, a one-shot playtest next Sunday. I'd probably be up for it. It's okay. Cool. Um, I am generating the PDF so everyone can look at it. So let me do that. And this is very much, in fact, I will say... I will type on the very first page, if I can, draft, if I can spell draft, which I think I can, and make that nice and huge. (coughs) Hopefully this will not be too ridiculous. Oh, do not zoom that far out. Okay. And this is for May, what, 29th? 29th. That's not going to work. Now, c- the question is, can I send a file to people over Skype? Yes, uh, drag the file into the chat box. Ah, okay. We will give yeah, that a try. That works, too. Or click I send file. I go to conversation, send file. Mm. Let's see here. All right, dragging into the chat box and releasing. 3.3 megabytes. I get 852 kilobytes. Okay. Oh, okay, it's 3.3 megabytes total, so it's still transferring. And that's going to take a little while, because, of course, I'm doing all this Internet stuff at the same time. (coughs) Yeah. Oh, um... 
<laughs> I'm still getting I'm wow. still getting used to writing. Yeah. But I put a review on the website, and oh, cool. I wanted to know what would you like for me to change about my writing style whenever you get a chance to read it. Okay, I will do that. Um, by the way, I'm also um, uh, speaking of, of what you you had talked about in terms of how to organize the website. Um, I discovered that the current the the version of Joomla that we have on there does not support multiple nested categories. Mm -hmm. So I I I'm putting together. I, I installed the most recent version of Joomla at mag 2talkingovideonet um, and I'm going to be like putting the content all over there. Um, so at some point we'll have to we'll have to move everything over to uh, you know uh, version 1.6 basically. Okay. Um, but let me see here. Let me go to. Let me see if this works. Rad's blonde. There we go. Ah, Mochidora. Sweet. Yeah, I'll make a note to, to read this and give you, you know, a real solid something at some point. Okay. Yeah, I wrote a blog on it, but it would just, like, miss standard stuff. Okay. <laughs> I love when I, when I dragged this file in there, it was, you know, 2.2 megabytes, 21 minutes remaining. Ah! I'm down to 55 seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's better now. It was like, okay, that's, that's really bad. Yeah, it tends to do that. Um, yeah. I also watched, um... Barefoot again. Ooh. Er, uh, earlier this week. Yeah. What do you think? That was an interesting show. <laughs> that show, uh, movie. It was like mm -hmm. <laughs> just when when the mother started when the when the children were stuck under the building. Yeah. I I I I, I, I almost started crying along yeah. with them. Yeah. That's a, that that is one of the toughest scenes like in anime. Ooh. Uh, that's that's rough. And all the aftermath. I mean, I I I lucked out in that I was kind of limited on time, so I watched like everything up to the bomb drop, and then like everything, and then like another 20 minutes or half an hour, and I had to stop at that point. Uh, and then I came back and was like, I kind of had some breaks in the middle of it. I think otherwise it would have been just a, a, a bubbling mess. Mm. Yeah, I I went and watched My Little Pony about <laughs> um, five hours afterwards. I'm like, I'm depressed. Yeah. I'm going to watch this show about friendship and magic. <laughs> um, for those listening, you don't know what we're talking about. Barefoot Gen is an, an animated movie about um, the dropping of the bomb on Hiroshima, um, and it's like historically accurate, so it's it's not pleasant, not pretty. Um, it, it, isn't it written by a guy who survived? Yeah, that, um, it, and that is semi autobiographical That's what he went through. I mean, it, he didn't have the exact same thing happen to to his his family, but it was you know. Very close to that. Like, he, he lost different siblings and so forth, but, yeah. The, the whole manga is actually available in English now, like 12 volumes. Which, uh, oh, wow. is very interesting. It, apparently it follows him, like, through his, his high school years, and, like, like, there was a lot of prejudice against um, survivors of the bomb. You know, folks didn't really want to associate with them, things like that. So, apparently a lot of interesting stuff there. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pick, up, pick up one of these days. So, um, is anyone... <laughs> yeah, if you're not here, say so. Um, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is Matt here? Hello. Chris? He's playing, he's playing Terraria. Alright. No, I'm not. I heard you guys scream. Yeah, oh. we've got Matt, Chris, Mike, me. I think we're all here. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, Norcus just went. So, Brad, you're up. Okay. Cool. Um, let me pull up game table. Okay. So, I am going to start with um, Burning Hands, my mm -hmm. other encounter power. Mm. Now, that is a close blast of five. That'll hit all three of them in the room, right? The uh, Aunt Norris, Frank, and Face. Yes. The close blast. Yes. All right. So, attack all three of them. Um, 18 versus reflex on Ant Norris. Yes, hit. 14 versus reflex. Yes, hit. Versus reflex on Frank. Hit. And 15 versus reflex on face. That is a hit. Okay, so... Flames burst from everywhere. 15. That's 15 to each of them. 15 damage. All right. And no one going effects. 
All right. Now the foot is on the other shoe. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very nice. Um, and um, I'm going to use my move action to shift here. Okay. Um... Yeah, uh, the, uh, yeah. Aunt Norris squeals and sort of collapses and is still up and is still able to attack, but is clearly in very bad shape. Cool. All right. So, um, Frank and Face do not care one bit about Aunt Norris. Um, but they're going to keep going after Normicus. They, they see that. In fact, they're going to they're gonna move forward a little bit, sort of yeah. get him closer in range. He looks sparkly, so that's cool. Um, I think I already used those two rolls, so I'm going to cross those off. Alright, so, uh, more rotting chunks of flesh arc towards Normicus. Four. Uh, 16 versus reflex. Yep. And, uh, 12 versus reflex. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, the good. second one didn't hit. No. Okay, good. Either um, way, I think I'm still not unconscious if it has a modifier of plus three damage. Mm, um, yeah. Uh, 12 damage. I'm unconscious. Alright. We may have a TPK today, folks. I'm surprised. Um, yeah, what would happen to Zan in this case? Um... Would, she, would, she, would carry on die? Yeah. Right. So if both party wipes, then there's not much point in one person moving on. He'd, uh, he, he, he'd fall down and be all unmanly and pass out. <laughs> he'd faint. He uh, faint from from fear from sheer fright. He, he would he would let out a girly scream. <laughs> exactly. I'm feeling the vapors. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm feeling the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James. Oh yeah, my turn. Um. So I'm going to shift here. All right. Um. And I'm just gonna wail on Bertha. All right. Hello. As I always do, what? Nothing. Well. <laughs> um, okay, so that's like a above 20. Alright. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll do. That one, that one's like, hey, 27. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so then both of them hit, so rolls. Um, I need to turn my calculator on. Roll. Wow. Okay, that, 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 that's better. Um, so that's 19 damage. Oh, wow. All right. Um, all right. Um, Bertha's bloodied. Um, what does WC and HQ mean? WC is wallet curse. Okay. Hunter's glory. Okay. Fair enough. Alrighty. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, Aunt Norris. Well, actually, Aunt Norris will do that. Uh, make sure that's recharged. Um, did she recharged. save the ongoing five? Um, uh, no, she did not. Actually, uh, not Please not last time. So thank you. Um, and in fact, thanks for reminding me. That's just enough to push it over. Aunt Norris collapsed down. Aunt Norris is gone. Alright. Um, so... And... Sharon and Bertha go after James more. So... Oh, they still are able to do that. <laughs> I was hoping the editor cap would keep Sharon from moving out. No, not when it's a dead body, sadly. Um... Alright, so those are just going to be straight claw attacks. Uh, first one's going to hit. Second one <laughs> is uh, 21 versus AC. No. Okay. Uh, so... For the love of God, don't kill me. Uh, 12 damage. Huh. I don't know if I'm dead, actually, to be honest, because I used healing surges before we walked in here. Okay. And I just realized at my healing surges... I healed for, like, um, three less health than I should have. Ah. Uh, um, so I'm at one health. Okay. 
I, I, I don't think it would have mattered. Mm. So, yeah, I'm at my house. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. Chris, you there? Yeah, yeah. I'm used to hearing a, uh, it's your turn kind of thing. Mm. All right, so I, I need a 20. Yeah. And I get a five, so I am on strike two. Okay. No, it's not looking good, folks. Uh, Normie, how about some uh, healing or some heal skill checks, please? Um, people that are alive. <laughs> I try to do that. In, in, instead of instead of using your time to attack, I would very much appreciate it. <laughs> Getting the healer back up might be a yeah. <laughs> Okay, slowly moving towards you. So I just need to roll for the um, save, yeah? Yep. Well, actually, you roll for the save at the end of your turn. Well, I'm unconscious. Oh, right, sorry. Do. Uh, that's a, a non strikey thing. I got a 10. So. 10? Alright, yep. You're just, nothing happens. Mm. <laughs> I'm only delaying the inevitable. Okay. <laughs> um. So, I'm going to heal check Shada. You need to roll a 15 or higher. Um, that would be a... Oh! Dang. 21 total. Wow. Nice. All right, so I spend a healing surge, and I am up. Yay! With yes, with 19 with plus 2, thank uh, you. <laughs> I'm up with 9 health. Mm. All right. I'm feeling good about this guy, but I, I think you're going to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe? <laughs> maybe not? <laughs> so let's see, um, that heal check, what was that considered? It's standard action. Yeah. Standard action? Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to use a minor action to take my own health potion. Okay, good. And uh, health potion... I. That's healing surge plus what? It's just healing surge, I believe. Yeah. Just healing surge? Okay. Yeah. So, it's plus seven. And that'll end my turn. All right. So, let's see. Anything else fun I can do with these guys? Not really. Mm hmm. Um. No, they got to do something with these uh, these 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 people. So I think we're just gonna do something real simple here. Frank's going to uh, bull rush Shada. Actually, he can't do that with the, with the things. So he's gonna go here. Frank will go here. Um, if I were really evil, and I should probably do this, they would attack Shada. Mm -hmm. um, they can't really do anything otherwise. They can't. Please. They don't really have the speed or anything for it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have them attack. Mode of corruption. Um, they 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 fling stuff through there. Uh, however, uh, nine versus reflex on Shada. No. And thirteen versus reflex. Almost hit, but no. Okay. All right. So that didn't work. So the zombies are done. Okay. So right. James? Me, it is my turn. It is. James, uh, as a suggestion, shift up and to the right. Oh, man. I apologize. Hey, uh, Frank and Face are just barely bloodied. I, I, I okay. saw okay. 23 is 22 on my sheet. I wasn't looking, so. Like, by one point. That's actually what I was planning to do. I was planning to shift here because mm. um, I'm yeah. tired of getting flanked. <laughs> <laughs> And I really, really need to heal. So I'm going to drink my last healing potion. Or, or mm -hmm. you can use, um, just as a suggestion, second wind. Well, you can do both, actually. You can use a potion and second wind. Well, I, I now have one healing search up, so... Mm. Oh. Yeah. Well, if you if you use a second wind, you'll get a defense bonus. I get it for only one turn, though. True. Mm. Your call. And so it's like, the, I could do, do that, but... If you think you can kill Bertha. I don't know if I'll kill her this turn, but I'll kill her. Mm. 
Um, um, Bertha has, just so you all know, um, uh, Bertha has about 20 hit points left in her. Mm. I could totally do that much if I, like, like roll maths on everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, which isn't out of the question. Mm, true. Anyways, I'm going to hit Bertha, and I'm going to, is that a miss? No, that's like a 19. A 19 will hit. Awesome sauce. And that's like a 29. Yeah, I think that's a 20. <laughs> that, that, that's, that, that'll hit. That, 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 that's a critical. Oh, nice. Um, and so with my sword, that critical hits. Um, I don't. Uh, for each of my swords, I have R11 written down. I have no idea what that means. Say um, again? You kind of broke up. Uh, for each of my swords, I have R11 written down. Written down. R11? I don't know. Yeah, I, I have no idea. So um, it was critical hit 1d6 necrotic damage. Also, well, I rolled the 1d6 one. Okay. Um, so I have to roll for damage and well, that was that was pretty abysmal first roll. That was decent. That was also decent. I think. Is it three out of eight decent? Yeah, sure. Um. Oh wait, one of these one of these is an eight. That first roll was an eight. So that's um. Shoot. Oh wait, I I I have a scientific calculator. I can just change this. Um, that's a 24 damage. 24 damage. Against Bertha? Yeah. Okay, that is enough. Down she goes. Yay, bye-bye, Bertha. Yay, right. her sword, and I get plus one <sighs> temporary hit points for killing it. Cool. Phew. All right, so only one Kruthik and two zombies remain. I'm going to start missing. Just look. <laughs> I know it. All right, so um, Sharon, I think, is going to um, think she's going to go after James again. Hi, <laughs> right, Sharon. She, she's got her eye on you. Um, 17. Um, actually, no. Sharon's going to shift back here. And I'm going to roll to see if that recharges. That re oh, but it didn't recharge, so she's not going to do that. I take that back. Again, she's going to go and go after James. And she can't use her attack. She is rolling really poorly on her recharge. <laughs> so, attack against James. That will be... Oh, 26 versus AC. Mm. Yeah. Um, but she rolls poor, so 9 damage. I live... Um, let me try and figure out how much I live by. <laughs> I have six health left. Six health left. All right. Fair enough. Ouch. Yep. That, I would have had one health if yeah. it wasn't for the temporary hit screens. Fortunately, you are standing right next to Shaddaa, who is now back alive. Yes, Perform a miracle. To, I get to make my first action of the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, got it. Shift <laughs> here and use my daily power beacon of hope. Okay. Which is a burst three, so it will hit Sharon and Frank. Mm. So I need to roll. Oh wow! Uh, first one is on a Frank. It's twenty-six versus. Uh, let me check. Yeah. Versus Will. It exceeds. Yes. Yeah. And the next one is uh, sixteen versus Will and Sharon. Sixteen versus Will. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, so they are both weakened until the end of my turn. Mm. Or until the end of their next turns. Mm -hmm. um, every every one of us gets eight hit points. Ooh. So uh, cool. Normicus is at eight, eight health now. Mm. Um, let me check what my health is going to be. It's going to go up to seventeen. Um, and then full exactly. So uh, so Tina, you're full. Yep. What's James at? Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. I'm at seventeen. Normicus is at eight. I don't think Normicus is going to be attacked, though, or if he would be by Frank and faces ranged, mm. he can just shift into cover. I don't know. True. Well, I'm just saying, I'm trying to figure out who to healing word. Yeah. Um, I, I think I'm going to healing word myself so I can continue to heal <laughs> later on. 
Yeah. So uh, I'm going to healing word myself. D V six. So four plus three. It's seven plus five. That's twelve plus my healing surge. Mm. Um. So I get back twenty one hit points. Nice. Howdy. Which puts me back at full. That right there is a crit. Okay. And then uh, I will get to healing everyone back to full. Mm -hmm. So does that bring Norma back? Uh, yeah. Since right. uh, I healed him, mm -hmm. he goes from un he goes uh, from unconscious. He goes to zero hit points, and then from zero hit points, he heals eight. Cool. Cool. So Norma gets to live. Mm -hmm. I love clerics. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> my chance. Mm-hmm. That was a nice nap. Yeah. Um, fiery ball on Frank, and that is a seventeen against reflex. Success. Yay! Um, I didn't make any of them. I want to curse. So one d six, two d six, nine plus three. That's twelve plus. Another three, so fifteen. Um, uh, Frank mm -hmm. takes sixteen damage, and then because face is adjacent to him, he takes uh, seven plus. Face takes ten damage. All right. Um, very done. All um. Right. Um, uh, Matt, uh, the thing with the Hydra Warlock's Cursed Sky, do you get anything from that? No, only mm -hmm. if I reduce okay. the creature to zero hit points. Ah, okay. Okay. Just like my sword. Yeah. Mm. So, Matt? Yep. Alright, I am going to shift here. Mm. And because I'm too close to everyone, I'm going to have to magic missile Sharon for six damage. Okay. And that will be my turn. Alright. Alrighty, then let's see here. Um, Alright, so I think Frank's gonna be stupid. Nah. How do you do that? So, um, both. Would that not provoke opportunity attack from James? It absolutely would, and from, from yourself as well. From me? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Actually, no. You're right. Because he, he yeah, isn't going like, past you. I'm yeah. like, how's it? Right. Yeah. It, uh, so James, basic attack. Basic attack. Oh. Um. So that's a twenty-one. That'll hit. And that would be a eight damage. Wow. Wait. No. Yeah. Um. Twelve. That. That's max. <laughs> nice. Twelve. No. Wait. Um. Thirteen. Because I have plus one for my sword. Okay. So how much is it? Thirteen. Okay. And you remember to have a plus one here. Here we go. All right. Ooh. Frank goes down. Cool. <laughs> um. Oh wow! Really? Yeah. Um. And face is actually gonna try to do the same thing. He has, he has a nice slam attack. Um. He's gonna try and go after Shadow. So James, you get a swipe at him. <laughs> Again. Okay. Gonna be a one. No, it's a two. Oh, okay. Um, so he's gonna go after Shada for uh, 19 versus AC. Dead on. All right. Um, four damage. He, he, okay. That's an abysmal roll on the. It's better than 30. It's better than. <laughs> that's better than 19 damage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, all right. So there's that. Um, so the zombies are done. Okay. So it would be my turn. It would. Um. I'm going to make face my hunter squarey. Alright. Um, <coughs> and I'm just going to wail on him. Mm. L like James does, hit stuff. Indeed. Um, that's 14 plus 23 versus AC. Hits. Um, and that's another 23. Okay. And so then I roll... Oh wow, that, that that's a lovely roll. Um, that's, that's not so lovely. <laughs> that's 
Okay. And that one's okay too. Um, that would be 17. 17 damage. Wow, that does it actually. They were both close enough. Alright. So, Sharon will do what? Well, Sharon will see. Ah, no, man! I cannot get that um, attack back. So, all she's got is the claw. Um, so she will do the whole Dr. Claw thing. I'll the get claw. you next time, Gadget. The claw! Um, 21 versus AC? I live, as in it doesn't hit. Nice. Alright, that's it for Sharon. Alright. Uh, James has no more healing surges? Correct. I have one. Oh, okay. Do you have one? I, I thought you used I one. one. Yeah, no, I had two, and then I used one for my healing potion. Hmm. Okay. Alright then, and uh, how many healing surges does Normicus have? Um, five. So enough. Yeah. Eno enough to use them after the battle. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use then healing word on James. Um, so I need to roll D. Oh, 56. So you get um, 6 plus 5, so 11. 14 plus your healing surge. Um, that is, that's a lot of healing. Yep. All and thanks to my daily. Be, wait, 14 plus my healing, healing surge? Healing surge, yeah. That, that's more health than I had to begin with. <laughs> um, that actually puts me exactly at max. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. And I don't have zero healing surges. Um, oh yeah, so we'll take care of that later. Um, yeah, so let me reference. Um, and then I, uh, so that was my, that was a minor. I'm going to use another minor action of, um, well, actually, first, I'm going, no, nah, I can't do that. Uh, I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use, uh, another minor action of Dragon Breath. Okay. Because it's going to go, it's going to face downwards. Mm -hmm. So, uh, James is in it, so he will, I need to, I need to check to see if, um, if it, uh, yeah, uh, it because 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 of my feet, uh, breath of life. Right. You get uh, three timber hit points. Just go ahead and add that. Well, it, it hits, as long right? as you're in the blast, you he gets it. But if it hits, right? Uh, it just says um, allies within the blast of your dragon breath gain timber hit points. Right. That would be if it hits. Oh, it is. We well, okay. it, it, you know, allies were within the blast, so it's if if the blast occurs. Okay, I yeah. see. Yeah. So yeah, I need to roll then. Yeah. Uh, D twenty. So, um, 20 versus, uh, let me check. I never use it. Uh, B, 6. Oh, wait, what page is Dragon? Hold on. Okay, uh, 20 versus Reflex. Success! Oh, it was actually 22, but yeah, okay. So, um, roll, oh, where is it? Okay, roll damage. Shadaw steps forward and lets loose a blast of fire. Uh, no, not very much. Uh, four, four damage to Sharon. Okay. And James heals, uh, or gets three temporary hit points. All right. Um, uh, Brent, with my sword, I get five temporary hit points when I kill something. Does that stack? No. Okay. Temporary hit points oh. never stack. Correct. Oh, so actually, if you already have, or do you have five right now? Yeah. Oh, so then actually you just keep the five, so yeah. temporary hit points on ADO. Oh. Correct. That works. Because, yeah, I, okay. did, I killed something, I get five temporary points. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, the temporary points are so, um, Okay, so that was my other minor action. So then as my standard action, um, let me see what I want to do next. 63. Um, I believe I will use cause fear on... Uh, no, 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 I'm going to use commands on it. Mm. So I need to roll... And I rolled a three, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah, then that's my turn. All right. Nomi. Hey. Um, scrolly, 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 scrolly. I'm going to go with an Elgic Blast on Sharon. Mm. And that's a 18 against Reflex. Success. Yay. Um, and that's a D10. And I'll channel it through my Hellfire wand, so that's 
Um, God, I'm horrible with numbers. Uh, 11 damage. 11 damage. Alright. Uh, with that, I think... Nope, not quite. Sharon's not yet bloody. Mm. Tough little bugger. Stop standing up. We need to figure out shoes. Sharon, there's a wizard, so I'm gonna uh, make a giant shoe appear. And <laughs> oh, I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, that should be a spell, a giant shoe. <laughs> Summon can um, of raid. See. Yeah, I'm going to cast Scorching Burst behind mm. Sharon, oh. so it only hits her. Okay. And that'll be... <laughs> uh, nine versus Reflex? I don't think so, no. Yeah, it'll be my turn. Right, no. Crap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Um, zombies are down, so back up to James. Um, okay, so I'm going to shift here. All right. Um, I'm going to use... Where is it? I'm going to use an encounter power that I can't see because of my paper clip. Um, it's a uh, covering volley. I'm going to cast... Not cast. Um, use it on... Sharon, um, basically it does a area burst of one okay. around it. Right. Um, and anything in it, um, by the start of my next turn, uh, will take five damage. All right, cool. Um, any creature, so uh, my uh. teammates really shouldn't walk into these arrows that are falling from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, it's versus AC... Which, that's a d12. Why am I rolling that? Um, let me try and figure this out. So that's plus six attack versus AC, so I rolled a 18 total. 18 versus AC? Yeah. That does not work, sadly. No. no. Oh, um, then, I don't know if it still counts as, like, a still firing, or... No. Okay, cool. All right. Um... That's about it. Okay, no. wait. Um, one second. Um, yeah, that'll be it. I have to go help my baby sister. Sharon scuttles away back into, uh, uh, back through the doorway and out to disappear. And oh. the combat is over. I hate bugs. <laughs> and let me see here. Between the four of you... That's going to be a total of 225 XP each. Cool. 225 or 220? 225. The five is for luck. Okay, sorry, I'm back. No the crew six scuttled away. You each got 225 XP. Um, 3660 plus. 225? Yep. 3660. Three, three, yeah. Yeah, 3885. Mm -hmm. Um, is that enough to level up? Yeah. Well, it, you need 3750 to level up. Okay, cool. So I leveled up. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so that means we now gain our plus half level stuff? Yep. Correct. Cool. Um, so it goes to... I Initiative, ability score, defenses, uh, and skills. Also, be sure to add uh, up to your max hit points, changing your bloodied and surge values. True. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I have more no points. idea what I add there. Uh, well, so you are an elf. Or wait, it, wait, no, health point, hit right. points are based on uh, class. Yeah. So. I am a ranger. So, ranger is on page... One of three. Uh, you get five hit points. Cool. Um, also, um, the the two main things you get at level four are uh, a new feat, and you get uh, two ability points to add to uh, two of your or uh, one each to two of your ability scores. So, say you have like a uh, like a fifteen in strength, 
You can make that a 16 if you want. Uh, you, you cannot add two points to any one score, though. There right. has to be one, two, one yeah, of each. Um, yeah. So uh, I just divide my thing by four, and that's my surge value? Correct, yes. Um, I got a 10.5. What it do I do there? 10. 10? Yep. Okay. Um, Always round down. Okay. And uh, can I just put my things into my ability scores? Right now? Know what I want sure. Um, dexterity and strength. Cool. Which are the two things I always use. Um, so just add one to ability modifier. Yeah, uh, add, add to your ability score. <laughs> if, it, if it goes from an odd number to an even number, then you change it, your ability mod as well. Okay, so it, uh, those just stay the same. Okay, cool. But, yeah, they're up one. Right. Um, I'm still trying to do math here. <laughs> My bloody value goes up, which I'm not sure is a good thing or not. It's always good to have increased healing and bloodied. <laughs> yes, because I, I get bloodied faster now. <laughs> hey, we I'm bloody at a higher health, so that means I can yeah. still do higher damage. Yeah. And you all still hear chittering in the walls. Um, can I like can I do a um, perception check on the room? In front of us. Sure. Um, just basically trying to look and see what to see is see in there. Okay. Um, which is a twenty. You see a couple of zombie corpses in there. Um, as far as you can tell, just sort of looking in, and again, you're kind of looking through that uh, that uh, half collapsed door. It is. Uh, it, it looked like some kind of. Maybe a sacrificial chamber or some kind of a storage chamber, something like that. Um, then I, I want to um, squeeze in there. Okay. Like, um, and w uh, would be a perception check or a nature check to figure out if, um, if like I can tell if any of the critters are still in the walls, ready to jump out and hit us. Um, nature. Go, nature check, go! That one was a bit better. Uh, 21. 21. Um, you don't notice any holes in these walls, but you can tell that the walls are, in general, fairly weak. And so you suspect that these things could burst through you know, walls at various points fairly easily. Mm. Um, so do I have to roll another perception check, or I see, can I see if there's anything like of interest in here? Um, so even, uh, uh, you entered the room? Yeah, I uh, entered, sorry, I squeezed through the door, yeah. Okay. Um, no, you don't need, don't need to roll anything. Um, yeah, you, you can see that there are actually more than just those two zombies. Can somebody, whoever is uh, typing that's kind of loud? Thank you. Um, the, uh, 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 so you can see some markings on the floor and some, some stuff that's, that's been done. There are about hmm, half a dozen different, uh, uh, dead bodies sitting there, um, uh, including the two zombies that you just killed. And uh, you also notice that there is some evidence of these creatures that essentially burrowed in and, and through the room and out of it, uh, and, and uh, you know, uh, rebuilt the walls behind them, if you will. So this was used by these creatures at some point, but it looks like they didn't have much of interest in this room. Mm. So is, is there, like, nothing that I can... That would be like interesting. You could try okay, to. You could loot the bodies. They're kind of interesting guys. You could loot the bodies. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll do that. Okay. Um. Among their various pockets is a total of. Um. We will go with. Um. Uh. Yes. A total of 340 gold. Um. Did we ever, what did we do with the gold that was on the body upstairs? Did we ever oh, really yeah. do anything about that? Did no, you didn't. That? Nobody said anything about it. Um, Split it among the five of us, that's a hundred each. Yeah, and then, I, I don't know how to do math, but how much was it? 340? 340. 340 is 340. No, the, um, the... Yeah, the, from the, these bodies, you said I found some odd gold. It was like 340 or 345. Yeah, 340. Okay, 340. Um, I don't know how. Oh wait, I have a calculator. 
Um, so generous. She's actually going to give us some of it. Yes, I will actually give you some. <laughs> well, the other ones were jewels. They were shiny. Um, so, and I just throw to 68 at each of them. All right. Um, by the way, could you each shout out what level you are at at this point? Four. Yeah. We're, all, we're all level four. We're all level four. Okay, cool. I will move on to the level four uh, monetary treasure chart then. So I will give you all appropriate amounts of cash and or cool items. I think I'm getting, uh, I've already gotten appropriate amounts of cool items. <laughs> 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 it's not like I have these goggles, mm. two awesome swords. Now apparently I'm wearing some cool hide armor. Yeah. Um, and I guess I looted the bodies and there's really nothing else to do. Not much, nope. Um, can I tell what language the thing is in? What the thing? The inscriptions? Um, the inscriptions are, are very old and the letters are all worn away. Okay. Uh, I was just wondering. Oh, yeah, so no. that's really packed out. Yeah. Um, uh, these upper rooms have probably seen so much use, um, you know, compared to the lower the lower levels that uh, you know, uh, uh, it's it's going to be unlikely you're going to see too much in terms of details in these rooms. Okay, um, then I guess I say to the party, should we continue on to the south? Mm. Yes, let's continue to the south. Right. And I I lead with my little mining. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you can see, you there's this hallway, and we'll just sort of move you all you know, directly, just for convenience's sake. Um, so the question would be, which direction do you want to go from here? Um, uh, to, the, to be honest, James would like to keep going straight because he likes right. Okay. Um, I if any of the party members have something against that, they, they should speak up before James keeps um. talking right. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Ah, frack. Sorry, guys. Um, Skype just crashed. Sorry about that. My Skype just crashed. Uh, it was right up. Oh, hey. Whoa, so. whoa, wait, hi. Yeah. What just happened? My Skype crashed. Oh. That's not very friendly of your Skype. Mm -hmm. Okay, so James James would, I unless one of the other party members speak up, James just keeps walking to the right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm for that. Okay. Um, then you head up down this, you do hear a stronger chittering to the north, um, and so you sort of pass by that and go up into this room here. One second, I've got a bunch of, yeah. Um, and James looks in and he sees a, 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 a an empty chamber, but the floor is covered with little, like, um, the movie Alien-style eggs. Hmm. Hey, Tinder, remember what I keep saying about fire? Yep. Time to make fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so would I treat this as a combat situation and roll, or just say I set the eggs on fire? There, you know, uh, there is no, nothing to oppose you. Okay. Um, sure. So you're going to torch the eggs? Yep. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, Are you absolutely sure? I hate it when you ask that. <laughs> um, I just have a feeling that if we don't get rid of them now and we go up there, they're going to mm. hatch and attack us from behind. Mm -hmm. um, uh, totally up to you. If you're absolutely sure. I, I'm totally messing with you, dude. <laughs> I, I yeah, I'll, 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 I'll torch the eggs. Okay. A really um, powerful torch. Okay. Um, yes. So, uh, dragon breath on the eggs, I guess. And, um... Right. Oh, the, the, the when, when tear dealing that. Say what? When tear dealing that. Uh, no, that's true. Um, 
So yes, scorching burst. Scorching burst. There we go. Um, yes, the room lights up with with uh, uh, tremendous flame and eats away at these eggs. And um, as it does, you hear this squealing sound. And as as the eggs burn up, you see a bunch of these little uh, crucifix sort of struggling and 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 dying and being consumed by the fire within these eggs. Tyrander puts on a big smile. <laughs> Anyone got any marshmallows? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, James, go ahead and do a check to see if there's anything you yeah. see in there besides eggs. That's, 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 that's it. That's it? Okay. Then that's it, yeah. That works. Okay. So it's, then it's we, just go, we go backwards, we're like, beep, 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 <laughs> beep. So, so we're like, probably like this. Cause in the, if yep. we can, like, step over ourselves, it would be like this. Mm. Let me pull up the map to make sure I've got the right thing. Um, the thing, is it the right thing? Um, so we've got that there. That's going up to that thing. Um, oh, right. I did the wrong thing. That's fine. Um, <laughs> that's actually kind of interesting. I think I'll, I'll go with that. Um, what nonsense are you speaking? <laughs> All right. The thing in the place. The thing in the place. So, um, you see, you, you just see a chamber up, up, uh, up north. Nothing to be descript as you approach. Um, say, um... Anything you want to do as you approach? I'd like to roll I'd a perception check. Okay. And, yeah, Tyrander might want to before I do that. Um, you're probably going to say you light it up, aren't you? Um, well, the light's on my hand at all times, so it's always mm. lit up. But I'm g while he's doing that, I'd like to do a dungeoneering check to make sure this corridor doesn't have any traps. Nice. Uh, I'll assist with the dungeoneering check. Uh, that is... I assist. Good. Oh, okay. So, 24 dungeoneering. Well done. There are plates in the floor that, if you had stepped on them, um, would have released spikes from the wall, uh, which would have been very, very unpleasant for you. Um, but no, by doing that dungeoneering check... As it turns out, um, you, you know you, you can very easily see what not to step on them, so you avoid the trap. Um, I, I rolled a 24 for perception. Okay. The engineering thing would have been extremely useful bef during that one dungeon, <laughs> sword dungeon crawl, <laughs> when we fought the statue. I indeed. Um, you see shapes moving in the shadows on the other side of the room. Uh. Mm hmm. Let's continue on into an encounter. All right. Well, apparently, um, I yeah, I'll just I'll just go into the encounter. I won't. Can, we, right. can we uh, can we perhaps uh, approach stealthily and get a surprise on them? Um, Are they aware that we're here? That's a very good question. You can all Perfect. try stealth checks and see what happens. All righty. Stealth check. It couldn't hurt. Do we nope. do we each roll a stealth check? Um, yes, you will. So you, you you'll each have to. Uh, um, Basically, avoid their passive perception. Actually, no, I, gotta, I get to roll for their perception to see how, how well. They'll have a perception of various amounts. Nothing is higher than that. So. I rolled a 21. Okay. Uh, I did 18. not roll a 21. <laughs> no, give me uh, a I rolled a, a very low, low. What did you six. roll? Six. A six. Right. All right. There's this uh, crashing noise that Shada makes. Shada, shush. <laughs> 18 for me. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Um, I don't quite know. So, um, so yeah, Shada um, trips over his armor and, and falls down, and, like, all the shapes turn and look. Er, cry. Looking for the Russians? Yeah. Um, so let's move you all into reasonable position. Um, I guess we'll just move you all like this. Yeah, and we can just chill and cast. Yeah, uh, about that. Um, mm -hmm. So grab my when, when I level oh geez, when I level up, my health doesn't get regenerated, and I don't get no healing uh, charges, right? No, but you were almost your full health, weren't you? Anyway. Yeah, full health before. So whatever your health was, it's still there. Yeah. Uh, does healing charges go back or go up? No. Recover? I don't think they do. No. They don't. I'm stuck with zero healing surges for this entire 
Dungeon crawl. Yeah. Good luck. Oh, jeez. That didn't look friendly. You know what these remind me of? These remind me of Zerglings. They do look like Zerglings. Oops, I put the wrong one there. <laughs> no, well, not that one. This is totally interesting. I pray that these are minions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, we'll stop there for now. All right. Uh, roll for your in it. Ooh, finally. Good. I get a plus two initiative because I leveled up. Um, cool. That's that. Um, actually, yeah, just go ahead and roll and put it on your your uh, your your pogs down the side. I'll do the same here. I'm actually fine with having low initiative. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be nice for a change. Mm. I got oh, a this. Let me try and. They did not roll well. Some of them didn't. Oh, no, those did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I need it. Thank God for leveling up. <laughs> um, Brad and uh, Mike, what are your initiative scores? Like, natural. Mine is now nine. Nine? Four. All right. Oops, what did I do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. Uh, is, is someone what else moving pods? Is someone else moving the pods on the side? Yeah. That was me, sorry. Okay. Um, just as long as I know what's going on. Okay. Okay, so uh, James is up. Okay, so it is a new encounter, and I have my encounter powers. Mm -hmm. um, which, let me just erase that so I know I still have that. Um, so I'm going to use uh, my eraser following. I'm going to use cover, covering, fall, bleh, covering volley, mm -hmm. um, so it covers uh, this area. All right, nice. Um, because that's the best thing I can think of to do. Mm. <coughs> and I'm going to now um, is, is covering volley a ranged attack and all that? Um, yeah. Um, you can't really shoot. Well, um, is it like a, a burst? It's area burst one within twenty. Okay, then yeah, that's fine. Um, each creature in burst gets hit by this. Right. Okay. And so I'm going to roll for each one of them. <laughs> oh wow. Um. So Sanchez, I'm going to roll a. <laughs> a natural one. Okay. Um, for Muffin, I'm going to roll a 19 versus AC. Okay, that's a hit. Um, for, so that's a three for Bob, so that misses. And for Bugger, it's going to be a um, 18 versus AC. That's a hit. Okay, so then that is a D10. Do I have a D10? I have a D10. Um, plus... So Muffin, I do eight damage. Okay. And Bugger, I do um to thirteen. Almost thought it was zero. It goes um, flat. Well, so anything in that area at the end of my mine mine. Your yes, next turn. Um, at the end of at the start of my next turn. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, it takes five damage. Okay. Anything. Cool. So, I don't know why my partner should run to the other side of the room, but please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. is, um, I would actually, um, I'm going to do a roll of nature on Creeper. All right. Um, that, that was actually, holy, uh, 15 plus 9. Wait, do I add plus half level to that? Oh, the yeah. half level should be oh, part of the skill roll, the skill uh, uh, value. Yeah, um, it would be mod plus half level. Right. So that would actually add another one to it. So it's twenty-five. Twenty-five. All right. Um, that is another Kruthic adult that you were fighting before. Yes. Um, it has sixty-seven HP. Um, 
you all pretty much know the you know Fort Rockwell and AP at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, Claw Tap does. There's an angry puppy. There is. Yeah, sorry, those are my dogs. Um, Claw Tap does plus nine versus AC for uh, quite a bit of damage potentially, and then it has that toxic spike attack, which launches poisonous spikes at people. <laughs> cool. Okay. So my turn. Yep. Yep. Alrighty, I'm going to throw Scorching Burst in the center to where it hits Creeper, Bob, Anger Face, and Steve. Would it also hit Sam? Alright. Or no? No, it's like oh, in, uh, I, I, to I the right what creeper. he's doing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, four. Creeper, not one. <laughs> Alright. Four. Bob, uh, six. <laughs> Alright. Anger Face, eight. Good no. lord. Mm. Um, and, okay, Steve, 21 versus Reflex. Steve, that would be one of those. Um, yes, that's a hit. Okay, so for at least one of them, I get five. Nine. It's 14 damage on Steve. All right. Um, yeah, okay. And um, for a minor, I'm going to roll a nature check on him just to see what he's got. All right. So, 20. All right, 20 on Steve. That is a young Kruvik. Um, It has a, a somewhere in the range of about 40 to 50 HP. Um, AC, pretty much in range of the other ones. Um, and all it can do is a claw attack. Okay, cool. And that'll be my turn, so... Right. Yay! Uh, minions. Alright. Two, three, four, five... Yeah, they can really do that. <sighs> and so they start wailing away. Um, uh, uh, Why does um, everything flank me? 19 versus AC. I did not get hit. Uh, 26 versus AC. I wish yeah. I did. Yeah. Uh, 5 damage. Well, that's, that's not too horrible. That's nah, not too horrible. Alright. Chris is up. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start off with Dragon Breath. Alright. It is a blast 5, so everyone is in the Ooh, zone. Ooh, nice. It hits, Including James, so hopefully you can get some temporary hit points. Yep. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, the one. So we'll start with Samuel. All right. Um, 17 versus Reflex. Hit. Next is Cre uh, Sanchez. Okay. Uh, 19 versus Reflex. Hit. Next is Creeper. Uh, that's 14 versus Reflex. Miss. All right, next is Bob. Uh, it's 12 versus Reflex. Miss. Right next is Anger Face. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nat 20. Okay. And then next is Steve, which is uh, 19. So, uh, uh it's going to be like 19 plus 7. Yeah, hit. So, right. so that's hit against Samuel and Sanchez, crit against Anger Face, hit against Steve. Okay, so, um, so max damage on Anger Face is, uh, is 9. All right. So I'm going to roll for damage for the others, right. which will be uh, five damage for the others. All right, so Samuel, five, uh, Steve, five, and... Sanchez, as, five. And I, as I'm assuming you all figured out, Sanchez okay. gets poked. And if it makes any difference, it's fire damage. Okay, cool. Um, and also James gets three temporary hit points. Nice. Yay! Um... Because I cannot range because of Bob, I'm going to do a basic attack on Bob. Okay. Uh, yikes. Uh, 13 versus AC. Versus AC, that's going to be miss. Ah. And then, um, I still have a minor. Uh, or, actually, no, I still have a standard, standard minor. I still have a move. Mm. Um, I don't think there's much I can do with a minor. Okay. Uh, the, the, yeah, I guess I'm done. Okay. Uh, Creeper huddles down and launches poisonous spikes at James and Shaddaa. 
So uh, against James, that is uh -huh. going to I be just my armor. a 26 versus AC. Uh, yeah, and, my armor. and against Shada, that's going to be uh, 21 versus AC. Yeah. All right. So that's going to oops, make sure I wrote, wrote, look up the right one. Um, so against Shada, that is only six. But against James, that is 13. Um, I rolled like max damage on that one. Yep. And Minimal and maximum damage. Not bloody. Cool. Mm, good. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you both take ongoing five poison damage, and you are slowed. Oh, do we take uh, the poison right book. now? No. At the beginning of your turn, always. Um. So uh, he uh, he does the whole. Where's my armor? Um, I wrote it down somewhere. Oh. <laughs> No, that's not where I wrote it. Oh, there it is. Um, ongoing damage to the enemy that ongoing damage me. Right. So okay. So people I, will take ongoing. So, so basically, he he just takes the damage as I take it, or he takes it as he takes it. Um, he takes it as he takes it. Takes it. So he now has ongoing fire, fire uh, uh, poison damage. Cool. All right. So he's done. Normie. Matt, you there? Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, Eldritch Blast on Creeper. Okay. Miss. Ah. Alright. I'm done. Alright. Um. Anger face does a oh that's not gonna work. Uh, fourteen versus AC. <laughs> All right, so that's it for uh, anger face. Oh, then we have of course Steve and Sam. So uh, feel claustrophobic. Yeah, um, because Steve <laughs> is gonna do. Oh, yeah, this might actually work. Um, twenty-two versus AC. Aha! My level up put me above that. I'm at 23. All right. The next one will hit. Roll the 19. Um, so that's going to be 26, 8, uh, 13 damage. Covered. Claws slice into James. That that's a plus. That's a minus. Hmm. Well, yes, I I will I will live the poison damage, but kind of barely. Okay. So yeah, you take the poison damage now. Um. Okay. I have four health, and I have no healing, so just ouch. Mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna fall unconscious in this battle mm. several times. Oh, it's the, it's the beginning of the, oh, the, the, the the battle, isn't it? So uh, continue. I nearly forgot. What now? No, go ahead. Ah, uh, son of a. Um. So I'm going to use. Uh, since I'm basically surrounded, mm. um, I'm going to use uh. To dire wolf range strike, which is every enemy in the burst and burst you can see of okay. the first burst one. Mm -hmm. Um, jeez. Um, so I'm just going to go from Samuel anger face team up. So right. Samuel, I roll a, a max twenty. All right. <laughs> wow, anger face, I roll um twenty one total. Yes. Um, Steve, I roll that and he, uh, it's like a 15 total versus AC. Miss. And Bob, I roll, please actually roll high enough, um, 20 some out again. Hit. So, um, I hit everyone but Steve, right? Mm. Um, so that's just long sword on all of them. Um... So that one takes eleven. Uh, Samuel takes eleven damage. All right. Um, <coughs> and Anger Face takes nine damage. Okay. And Bob takes. I'm um, not sure if it matters. But no, wait. Samuel wait, wait, takes wait, wait, max damage. Okay. Um, you, you only roll damage once. Oh, for all of them? Yes. Okay, then. Then it would be uh. F f f f. Nine versus Angerface and Bob and Max versus Samuel, which would be... Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. 
So uh, nine for Samuel, nine for Angerface, nine for Steve, you said? No, Bob and nine Samuel, okay. I do max damage because I rolled a 20 on him. Okay. Wait, so Samuel gets max damage? Yes. Okay. So starting over again. I'm, I'm confused here. Sorry, wait, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, sorry, hold on one second. I, I need to rewrite my numbers. Okay, how much does Samuel take? Samuel will take uh, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Um, 13 damage. Alrighty. And, and the other ones... Wait, wait, Angerface? Angerface? Angerface and Bob, since you say they take the same damage, mm -hmm. um, they would take, because I rolled... Well, the, uh, I rolled an 11... No, not well. I didn't roll an eleven on a D eight. I got eleven with the plus five. So how much damage um, do they take? Uh, anger face and Bob takes uh, eleven. Okay. All right. Um. So that's going to be yep. All right. Yeah. None of them are quite bloody yet. Okay. Brad, go for it. Okay. Um. <coughs> A close burst of three on enemies only, who would that hit from where I'm standing? That would be... Uh, it would hit uh, all the ones that are named and then the new one to the left. Yep. Okay. So, uh, I really so it, hit, it would hit... Um, Anger Face, Steve, Bob, Samuel, and New Challenger? Correct. Okay. So, roll for all of them. All right, first one, new challenger, 19 versus reflex. Hit. Second one, Samuel, 16 versus reflex. Uh, hit. Uh, anger face, um, 18 versus reflex. Hit. Steve, uh, uh, 20 versus reflex. Hit. And Bob, 10 versus reflex. Miss. Okay, so all four of them will take. Uh, let me bring up my damage sheet. Um, <coughs> all of them will take 13 fire damage, Ooh. ongoing 5 save ends. Right. Uh, Um, I'm sorry, how much did you say that was? My fault. Thir Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. All right. Um, trying to do too much math in my head. Uh, Does this, I know James needs to save from his poison. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Um, I rolled a one for saving from right. my poison. You're still poisoned. Um. But I'm going to die my next turn. No interface. Poisoned. Alright. Um, okay. So that was that. So now we're back to the nasty little buggers. Um, actually, New Challenger will shift. Um, the other's going to kind of stay out of the way. They're actually going to cluster around Creeper a little bit. So much flanking. Mm hmm. Um, so new challenger can get an attack on James. Four. At least new challenger and Bob can't flank. Nine. Well, I show Bob up. Bob does. So new challenger misses, so we're back to Shadda. I think a nine would hit my AC. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. We need to five damage. Uh, so I take, on go I take my five damage. Yeah. So, uh... Wait, was new challenger hit by that last attack? Um, <coughs> yes. Oh, okay. Then new challenger is splatted. I think My it was name. Steve who I missed. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so, I take my five damage. Uh, I'm going to use my utility power Cure Light Wounds on mm. James. Okay. So, James, you recover a healing surge's worth of hit points. Uh, no healing surge casted? Correct. Cool. Oh. I'm still alive. I will live the next poison. Um, and then I, uh, I kind of want to do a nature check on Bob because I feel like he should be dead. This is special. 
So I'm mm -hmm. gonna check Wait, on. Was Bob hit? Yeah. Bob I got hit earlier. Uh, my, yeah. I'm sorry. My mistake. Thank you. He's gone. Oh, okay. Bob. Thank you. Sweet. Okay. No, uh, scratch that then. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to do. Uh, These things all look uh, alike. Oh, man, I gotta do something about that. I'm going to do Sacred Flame on Anger Face, and I'll take the Opportunity Attack from Samuel. Okay. So, go ahead and roll that. Okay. <coughs> do I get it? I'm sorry? Oh, I'll, I'm taking Opportunity Attack from Samuel, so... Oh, right. Sorry, yeah. distracted. Uh, Samuel is one of these. Um, um, 11 versus AC. Nope. All right, so I need to roll. But I've got a critical coming up next. you got a critical coming up next? Yep. All right, um, I roll a uh, 22 against Reflex on Anger Face. Okay, that's going to hit. So... Yeah, not a good damage roll. Uh, I do four damage to Anger Face. All right. Uh, but my, uh, the perk of Sacred Flame is I give temporary hit points or grant someone a saving throw, so I will grant James a saving throw so he can save from his poison. Good. Don't fail me now. Does a 16 save? Yep. Awesome. All right, cool. I are not uh, Matt, are you still, did you use any healing surge after the battle? Are you still injured? I'm on 8 health. Your 8 health? Okay, then uh, I'll use uh, minor action of uh, healing word on Normicus. So, D6. Uh, 8 plus your healing surge. Okay. And that will end my turn. Matt, is something uh, wrong? No, I'm fine. Uh, I need to roll. Okay. And uh, I do not save from poison. Okay. So we will move on to Creeper with his ongoing damage. He'll take his damage. We will see if he recharges. He does not. Oh, um, Brent. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had this. Um, how, I, I forgot to mention this, I think it was like two weeks ago when you were talking about the whole, um, or last week, I don't remember, about the whole show stuff. Um, I was thinking for Dungeons and Dragons, uh -huh. um, you could just record the Skype call and not bother with the video and just put that on iTunes. Okay. And not bother putting it on the channel, and like, cause you were saying that you, you didn't really want to put it on the channel, but it was the only channel that had the thing. Right. So you could um, record the Skype call, and then just put that on iTunes. Would that would that be a better idea? I I look into it. Cool. Good thought. Uh, all right. So let's see here. Uh, so he's done. So uh, I believe it is now Matt's turn. Um. Eldritch blast on anger first. All right. Nineteen against reflex. Hit. D10. That is 13 damage. 13 damage against Anger Face. That might put it over the top. Uh, yeah. That kills Anger Face. And that's my turn. Alright. Squash the bugs. So, now we're going to do a bit more of the flanking stuff. <laughs> and we will do some more contacts. So, oh, we got that one crit. Came up. And then, uh, at 22 versus AC on James, which again is not going to be enough. That crit's probably going to kill me. Uh, 13. Damage. Yeah. James goes Just down. knocked me unconscious. James goes um, down. Okay. Can I stabilize someone who doesn't have healing surges? I'll check. Or someone wants to check for me while we move on. No, I'm not checking. Um, if you just uh, 
Yield check stabilize an adjacent dying character. If you succeed, the character can stop making death saving throws until he or she takes damage. The character's current hit point total doesn't change as a result of being stabilized. Yeah. So I can't really bring him up. Nope. I can just make sure that uh, you don't, don't die. die. Yeah. That's the, the idea. So I'll give you, I'll give you some time. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Then it I'll make it James. I guess that means I just he's unconscious. See if I yep. die. Yeah. That's it, bro. Um. I don't get no check mark. All right. Cool. And that'll bring it to me. So I need to use reaction. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I'll do scorching burst on the group in the back. All right. So we'll start with Sarge, who takes 21 versus Reflex. Hits. Creeper takes 17 versus Reflex. Hits. Crawler, um, 13 versus Miss. Reflex. Yes. And Simmons, 23 <laughs> versus Reflex. Hits. And damage. Uh, nine fire damage to all of them. All right. Except for which one did I miss? Creeper. Uh, I thought you missed Creeper. Mm -hmm. Nope. So nine damage against Creeper. Oh, did he? Did he uh, shake off? No, he did not shake off his uh, oh, man. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Then crawler skitters up, and he's gonna crawl. He's gonna skitter up right on top of James, and Whoa. slice away at Chidah. Hey, I rude. feel violated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, twenty versus AC. It hits five damage. Yikes. Um, I'm bloodied. Ooh. And you get to respond. Okay, and I take another five from poison, so yep. I'm even more bloodied. Mm. I'm going to start off with healing word on myself. Okay. Six. Sweet. So I get eight plus healing surge. Mm. So it's, I get 17, which puts me at 31 HP. Um, I need to check quickly if I have anything that won't provoke three opportunity attacks. Mm. Yep. Um, can do, can do that, can do that, probably can do that. Um, can do that. yeah, uh, there's not much I can do. Yeah. Um, so I guess I w I'll do a basic attack on... Um, Samuel, since he's yeah. bloodied. Yeah. Oh, D20. And I'm assuming that a an 11 won't hit DC. Correct. Ah. Uh -huh. um, then I would like to do a um, perception check to um, maybe spot, see if there are any more creatures uh, inbounds. Mm. Uh, 18. Can't tell. Can't tell. Nope. Okay. Nope. Well, then that's my turn. Alrighty. And that's... Uh, creeper. So, Creeper gets to try to recharge that thing, which... Jeez. Doesn't work. Alright. So, uh, Creeper's going to stay back there, because there's nothing else Creeper can do, really. Um, so, it's back up to Normicus. Um... Going to do um, fiery bolt on crawler. All right. And I missed. Oh, okay. That's the end of my turn. Right. So, uh, 
Samuel and Steve slash away at Shada with a 20 versus AC. Hit. And a 24 versus AC. Hit again. So that's going to be uh, 19 damage. Ouch. And I'm bloodied again. Mm. Shield that. All right, back around James, death saving throw. Do I die? Um, 17. I did not die. Okay. Cool. Brad? All right. Um, let's see. Does should I have any healing potions on him? Because I can pass one over. I don't have a healing potion on me. All right. I um I pass my healing potion over to Shada for him to use later. All right. I also did not save from my uh I did not save from poison oh, again. Oh, do that. Yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> um. So. Go so you your potion? Yes. Okay. And since I'm pretty sure that's another minion, I'm going to throw magic missile at Crawler and get rid of him. Six damage. Yep, that does it. And let's see. Yeah, that's all I can do. Uh, it falls on top of James. <laughs> Sorry, James. What? Like black blood is 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 uh is covering James now. You know, wake up and be like, guys, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> this is no time for silly pranks. <laughs> all right, so Brad, you're done. Yep. All right, and that's the last of the hatchlings. So off to shut up. Really? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, that was quick. Um, I'm running out of tricks, so... Yeah. Um... Hmm. Oh, also, I take five damage, so now yeah. I'm at five HP. Yeah. Want that healing potion? Yeah. Yeah, um... Now, I'm, I'm curious. I don't know if I'm able to do this. Mm. You, can, you can move through allies, correct? Yes. Can I shift down and then use a action to move further? Uh, well, the shift would be your move action. Well, no, change my standard to... Yes, yeah. So I can, sh I can like, shift into Tyrandra's slot and then change my standard to a move and then move further down? Correct. Okay, now, does drinking that potion, is that a minor or a standard? Uh, minor. Okay, well then I guess I will... Uh, shift down with my move action and then use my standard action to move action to go down here. Okay. Beat cheeks. Just because I don't want to die. Yeah. And then uh, I will drink the potion for th as my minor. Okay. And that will be my turn. All right. So Creeper, now just to see if he can... Dang it, no. He cannot. Um, so Creeper is just going to charge right at, at uh, Tyrandir. No. And rolls. Oh, 26 versus AC. Hit. <coughs> yeah. Uh, 2d6. Use some of my low d6 rolls on the damage. But, uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. Okay. Okay. Matt's so hit for him. So, Matt's up. Um, Flames of Flag Boss on Creeper, who right. is my Warlock's Curse. Alright. Take him down. Um, that is a... 23 Hit. against Reflex. Hit. Um, so that's... D10, uh, D10, oh. D6, uh, 15, 18, roll another D10. 22 plus 1 is 23 plus my constitution with fire. 25 damage on wow. Creeper. And he takes ongoing 5 save end. Wow. Oh, and that's the end of my turn. Alright. I didn't save from poison again. Ah! Creeper is definitely buddy. So that, yeah, that like cripples Kruthek, uh, uh, Creeper, rather. Nicely done. Alright, um, Samuel and Steve have nothing to do, so they're going to sit back and whistle, and we'll <laughs> go back up to James. And let's see if I die. Oh, um, still nothing. Alright. 
Rev? Alrighty, um, let's see. Since James is already unconscious, what would I do, what would happen to him if I pulled a spell that did damage to all, all creatures? You would take the damage, and it would just and drive him further into negative. <coughs> oh, okay. Try not to do that then. Mm. And <coughs> uh, um, actually, I'm, I'm currently not playing with the rule that if you take a certain number of negative damage, you die. So it wouldn't do anything, really? Correct. Okay. So... I will probably change that in the future, but for now. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Scorching burst on all three of them. All right. So that's... 23 versus Creeper. All right, it hits. Um, 17 versus Samuel. Uh, reflex? Yes. Yeah, it hits. And... 14 versus Steve. Just barely a hit. Woo! So, damage. That's 11 damage to all three. All right. Fire damage if it makes a difference. Mm. Samuel is bloodied. Steve is not. Um, the question is Creeper. Nope, Creeper's still up. So, solid hits all around, but uh, no change in status on, on those. All right. So, me? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I'm not... Well, I, I would like to see this succeed in a way that would be good. <laughs> I'm going to use Cause Fear on Creeper. Okay. Uh, 19 versus Reflex. Success. So he moves his speed plus two away, and that provokes opportunity attack from Tyrandir. All right. I want to see Tyrandir kill him with his, <laughs> his whatever he has. Nice. So get a get a good heck hit on him. All righty. Um, that's a not twenty versus a. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. And now I need to find the damage for my standard attack. So, yeah. um, Cause you never use it. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> really basic. Um, what is um, one weapon damage? Just regular, whatever your normal weapon is. Uh, I have no idea what staff damage is. Mm. It's not rolled down. What is the staff called? Like, is it just staff? I think it's just a quarter staff. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'll look it up right now. Yeah. Um, do, 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 oh, okay, meant, uh, so 225, um, that was not the right page, oh, 215, that's it. Um, I decided what my level four, um, mm. uh, quarter staff is eight. Eight damage? Yeah, so eight plus your strength mod. Which is zero. There's no half level on damage, is there? Correct. No. Okay, so since it's a critical uh, eight. Eight damage, all right. Uh, let me just check. Does it go? Creeper's down. Yeah. <laughs> With a basic attack. <laughs> yeah, so like from a wizard. <laughs> yeah, for my feet for level four, I decided to choose durable, which gives me plus two healing surgeon. Mm. Oh, I nice. chose the same thing. Nice. So you have more healing surgeons now? I don't know. I don't know if it would give give them to me. Uh, you should. I mean, if you get plus two healing surgeons because of it, then you should have two more healing surgeons. Well, no, it, it, it makes it so I have two more healing surgeons per day. Right, so you get two more healing surges. But does he get them today? Well, since, I mean, it's like you're adding you're adding them, so you didn't have them before, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll get out of this encounter to figure that out. Um, Matt. Uh, well, uh, um... Oh, are you done? Sorry. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm out of healing words, so, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm done. Okay. I'm gonna teleport here. Okay. And 
smack Samuel in the face. Cool. With, uh, with a 12 against AC. 12 against AC. That's a miss. And that's the end of my turn. Alright. So Samuel smacks you in the face. <laughs> or attempts to. Uh, 18 versus AC? Yeah. Alright. Actually, that'd be a 20 versus AC. And then the other one's like a 23 versus AC from Steve. So, um. Ooh, rolling bad on, on damage. So. 17 damage. Between Samuel and Steve. Whack, whack. I am bloody. Mm. Only two of them left, though. I am no longer poisoned. Mm. Does Samuel and Steve have any ongoing. Oh, Samuel takes his ongoing damage. And then roll to see if that goes away, which it does not. I'm oh. useful. I poisoned someone by eating poison. <laughs> <laughs> Steve actually takes damage as well, so that's good. And roll to see if that, and that does go away. So that's taken care of. All right. So we're back up to uh, James. Do I die? I rolled an 18. I do not die. All right. Rad. All right, I am going to use my face step to get back here, mm. and then I'm going to see if I can finish Samuel off with um, six damage from magic missile. Okay. Image. Uh, that's. Um. Wow. That is exactly enough to finish off Samuel. Yes. He's down. And, and that will end my turn. And Steve just got bloodied on the last one with the that ongoing damage. So that, that last attack. So he's bloodied. All right, um, Chris. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off with Channel Divinity Divine Fortune, which is a free action and just gives me plus one to my next roll. Mm. Um, and then I'm going to use uh, my Encounter Power Command yep. on Steve. Mm -hmm. Um, so 16 plus 1 plus 5, so, uh, 22. That'll hit. Against, okay. Yeah. So, um, he is dazed, and I'm going to knock him prone. Oh, okay. Nice. He is dazed and prone. And, uh, that will, um, uh, I'm going to do another perception check to see if now I can hear or see mm. any more incoming enemies. Mm -hmm. Uh, 7. So not so much. I gotcha. Oh yeah, that's my turn. Yep. You're still overwhelmed with battle. Oh, Normie. I'm going to shift there. Nine. I'll get blushed on Steve, who is my Warlock's curse. Cool. And that is a 21. Yes. Yeah, reflex. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That is... I'm going to put number 13 plus 5 plus 3 6. So, 17 damage. Mm. On Steve. Alright, so he's still up by like 5 points. Yeah. And that's my turn. Alright, cool. Uh, he gets a chance to do something. Um, hmm. Remember, he's dazed and prone. Correct. Um, so, actually, that would mean all you can do is stand up, right? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much. Unless he wants to stay prone and crawl around, the little bugger. Yeah. Um, nope. He's just going to stay there. And then, uh, I assume that the save ends both? Um, it just, it, it'll end at the, like, end of his turn. Oh, okay, cool. Um, then, yes, he, um, he's going to get back up, and that'll be it for him. So, roll for saving James. Yes. Did James die yet? Nope. Wow. <laughs> <Whew>. <coughs> All right, in that case, I'm going to finish Steve off. You said five points, so magic missile, six damage. I do it. He's down. All right. Well done, all. Let me calculate out your XP on that one. Um, oh, Brent, also, I found out something. Um, 
the power from shared suffering armor, uh -huh. uh, the attacker gains an equal amount of un untyped ongoing damage. Correct. Because um, you were saying poison damage before. I on the guy. On what guy? What guy? When, when he poisoned me, you were saying he took poison damage. Oh, okay, then. gotcha. Right. You're right. Uh, thank you. That's 200 XP each. I'm not dead yet. I'm going to use some healing surges. Okay. It's like, I only have two left, so I'm going to use two. And actually... Um... Yeah. One of you notices on the floor, on in, um, in one corner, um, the chewed up remains of a zombie. Or, or wait, no, not of a zombie, of a dead body. Um, and there's an amulet on it. Um, I would like to do an arcana check on the amulet. All right. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. You go to the next room to grab the uh, book. Go ahead. Okay. Um, sweet. Uh, <laughs> wow. All right. 32. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, it was made in AD 138 by... <laughs> Um, okay. I wrote down the name, I um, need to pull up the actual thing in So, the do I stand up with one hit point now? Yes. I have one hit point, yes! <laughs> okay, so I would like to go over here and look into this room and perception check it. Um, one moment please. Okay. <laughs> after, after he does his amulet thing? Um, this is a steadfast amulet. Um, it gives you a plus two to fortitude, reflex, and will, with a daily power, immediate interrupt, whenever you're dazed or stunned by an attack, you can immediately make a saving throw against, against a condition, and um, on a failure, you do not expend the use of this power, and no daily use of a magic item power occurs. You so you use it until it works? Exactly. But like once per turn. I am severely lacking in defenses, so does anyone object to me taking that one? No. Uh, I think that's fine, because we were debating last time when I got an amulet, which basically did the same thing except with one less defense. Mm -hmm. You should take it, and I took it, so I'm fine with you taking it. Uh, anyone else? Cool. Alright. Okay, so I'll take that one. Put the oh, damn. The room to the right, to the east, contains lots, lots more eggs. Um, okay. Because I, I don't know if you need a perception check, but I just rolled like a uh, 30 or something. Nah, it's fine. Bernie time. It cares. Nice. More fire. <laughs> yep. So, massive Bernie time on all the eggs. Okay. The, the eggs go up in flame. Quite easily. Um, um, see. Uh, can I get the name of that amulet one more time so I can see if I can find it? Sure. Character builder. Steadfast amulet. Steadfast. Um, do I get the healing surges from my feet or no? Sure. Awesome. That's fine. Two healing surges. Um, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2, 4, easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, so this goes... Chris. Yeah. Chris, should I use my healing surges now, you think, or should I wait until a battle and let you use healing word? Your call. I would honestly recommend we take a rest. I have no healing surges. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is the same. I think we're all pretty low on surges and health. Let's rest in this dungeon. Sounds safe. You got to eventually. Um, you can certainly go back upstairs. Just to be sure, Brent, is this the level 8 Steadfast Amulet plus 2 worth 3,400 gold? Yes, it is. All right. Well, I, I have a suggestion. Um, we could, the room that was just lit a, a blaze, or maybe another room, we hole up in there to to rest a while. I still have some of the 
gooey stuff that I use to injure the uh, the spider thingies. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that if I cut the entrance of wherever we're at with that, it will keep them away, maybe. Ah, nice. Um, maybe put a little bit of it, like, at the walls, too. Right. Is that is a good idea? You found? I mean. Yeah, um, and then I can also um, maintain yep, the illusion of a boulder in front of the door as well, just in case. Cool. Um, don't, Tyrander, don't, well, Tyrander slash Brad, don't you have, um, meditate? Yeah, I, I go into a trance so I can detect anything on its way. So, it won't catch me by surprise at least. You can if anything does show up. Yeah. Squeal, there are bugs here. Yeah. Get the shoe. <laughs> I mean, the issue with that always is that, you know, um... That's fine because we can wake everyone else up. Yeah. So. For me, it's worth oh, a try. That. <laughs> we could really use some rest. It's worth a try not to be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I I will roll a die to determine whether you guys get attacked in the night. Okay. So let's all. Because oh. we're trying to do cool stuff with the walls and stuff. And in this case, you can actually roll a die instead of using the heat. Yeah. Um, so are we going into this room that James is near? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we... All right. In there. Um, I, I coat the, the entrance with the... What, what's left of the slimy, gooey substance. All right. And I throw up the illusion of a boulder, so if that gives us any bonus perception defense okay. or whatever. Cool. cool. All right. I am rolling like the die. The illusion of a ball. Rolling the die. You succeed. No. You sleep a night undisturbed. Woo! Yay! All right. I'm alive. And with that, I need to take a quick bathroom break. Yeah, so let's take a, like a five or ten minute break. Yep. Okay. Full yeah, health, full surges, yeah, every, powers. Everything's back to max. All right. And that, that means now I have eight healing surges instead of my six, which is awesome. I will take that bathroom break. Okay. I'm going to now print out my level 4 character sheet. Ah, nice. But yes, viewers, there was like no news to talk about this week. I didn't do a bunch of anime news because there was just nothing. There was like literally, I was sk skimming through Anime News Network all week and I was like, there's just nothing going on. It's, it was amazing. So, no. Passive perception is 20. Nice. <laughs> By the way, did the PDF come through? Just to make sure it. Yeah. It. Okay. Um, I haven't checked it out. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. I just want to make sure it didn't, you know, drop halfway through. <laughs> yeah, it, it <laughs> it's meant to be a little shocking. You were born in mud. Mm-hmm. There may well be some inconsistencies here. I'm actually going to pull it up here real quick to see if I have anything uh, obviously incorrect. I actually switched systems halfway through writing it, so um, <laughs> there may be some references to old ways of rolling dice. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> then you go splurge. Yeah. Buy some healing potions that actually do something. Mm. Other than potions, I think the only person bought anything is uh, carry on. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we bought oh, anything. Yeah. anything. I'm going to buy more um, of my light stick things. Mm. So. Save up for a boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember we were saying we have to, we should save up for a um, what was it, an airship? Yeah, totally. Yeah, actually, for now we should each probably buy a horse. I think we all can. 
I believe so, but... places faster. Mm. Well, that's true. It, we're not sure exactly w that we'll need to go somewhere that rapidly yet. Mm. True. <coughs> yeah, horses are generally, um, I mean, th they would be useful. They're generally more useful when you hit, like, Paragon and Epic tier. Uh, you know, when, when, you're, when you're, you're going from country to country. Um, mm -hmm. But certainly in Heroic tier, it, it can be very handy as well. One of my friends says that their, their ranger would use their horse's cover. <laughs> Nice. They actually, I think they were like level one, so they couldn't ride the horse or something. Mm. So they would just hide behind it. Nice. I'd say once we finish with all of this evil god stuff, we go off and become pirates. Nice. <laughs> I have no objections to that, except for the fact James would be like, "Well, this is new. I'm not in the forest." <laughs> he, he, he'd have to take. He'd have to like put a tree on the boat. Mm. Get tired of all of this protecting the in is innocent stuff, so we just start robbing. <laughs> it's actually one of the, the, the conceits behind blood rights. Is it's like, okay, this is not really about protecting people. This is about like survival. You know, you're not even trying to be heroic. You can be, but uh, it won't turn out well. Yeah, it could turn out well, but you know, it make it make it harsh, make it rough. I would make a that's what she said joke, but Yuki would yell at me. <laughs> the system looks really cool and just really bad with percentages. I'm I'm removing all the percentage stuff actually as I type this. <laughs> um The original way of doing it was all percentages, and the idea was to make it so that um, you know you're just all, always rolling a percentage roll versus some percentage. You know you're always rolling d100, but uh, um, it was just really hard to make the math work. And I love fudge, so we'll do that. What? <laughs> that that just sounded extremely off topic. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the the base system that I'm using for this is called fudge. Oh. So, um, yeah, that did sound very strange. <laughs> but yeah, the, the whole rolling, rolling six, uh, rolling four d sixes, and the whole ladder of legendary to abysmal, and all that—that's all fudge. The fudge system. Oh. Yeah, okay, I need to run to the kitchen. I will be back in a moment. Alrighty. I'm going to actually do the same. Yeah. Uh, here's my...
Hello, Beck. How are you, Beck? <laughs> wow. I really should have saw that one coming. <laughs> wow, I get, like, all these bonuses to my sword. Oh, well, yeah, look at that. Um, quarters, okay. I have a plus up is 10 deep. attack bonus. With your, like, strength mod and weapon proficiency and... The and half level and half my level. weapon specials. Nice. We may just got to keep it real and use our mod plus half levels, and that's it. My weapon proficiency is three. My sword give a plus one to attack. I have an ability score of four. Um, and my one plus one half level is two. Cool. Yeah. I really need to buy an implement that gives me bonuses to my rolls. So yeah. right now my implement doesn't do anything for me except I just hold it and it looks pretty. Yeah, I have I have tome implement, but I don't have any special tomes, so it just sits there. Yep. What's an implement? Uh, it's what mages use to channel their spells. Oh. Oh, like um um that. Hellfire one. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. a wand is an implement. A, um, what are you I, using? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> what do clerics use? Oh, I forgot. You, you could probably you. Oh wait, you use probably like little um, religious necklaces uh, holy symbol. or something. Holy symbol. Yeah. That's it. I use a tome, so I just carry a book around all the time. My implement gives me no enhancement bonus. Which actually works because <laughs> I'm basically carrying around six books right now. <laughs> I'm carrying around four swords. I am carrying a mason. That is all you need to know. I have a <laughs> large backpack, a bunch of books, um, tobacco. What else do I have? I've got my quarter staff, which I mostly use to walk. Um, brr, 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 brr. The book under my arm, the eye patch, yeah, just the basic stuff, really. Just your typical stuff like eye patches. <laughs> well, I need the eye patch. Let's see, so it's 5,500 for level five. Uh, let me check. I believe that's it. Um, ah, where is it? Just level up. If I were to be level, uh, up. yeah, fifty-five hundred. Oh, I had it. No, I didn't. I still can't find it. Fifty-five hundred is correct. Okay. Yeah, can we do level five? Look at my daily power. And um, I get to retrain something that I've been meaning to retrain. My daily power is crap. <laughs> My daily power is awesome. <laughs> Mine Wait, definitely oh, comes in handy. When I, when I level up, can I like retrain my one of my powers or no? Yeah, you you can retrain one uh one thing. Like you can retrain a skill, a train skill, or you can retrain a, a power, whether it be utility, daily encounter, or um at will. But you can only exchange it with. Uh, something of equal level to what it was. Oh, yeah. Because um, I, I kind of just want to get rid of my daily power. Okay, well, something you got something might, better than... Hopefully these. Well, I've never... Oh, no, I used it once because I wanted to see what, what I could do. You haven't used it since? Nope. Sucks. I have three different daily powers and I can only pick one per day. Oh, poor you. <laughs> uh, which one should I pick for today, the Fire Warrior or Sleep? I don't really want to use Freezing Cloud. Um, I'd say the Fire Warrior just because it's so far we've been going up against multiple enemies and Sleep really only chooses one. Yeah. So the Fire Warrior would probably come in more handy. Alright. Fire Warrior for today. I really want to know what these things are weak against.
Mm. Not much. I know the zombies are weak against, but mm. I haven't been able to hit one yet. Surely the hawk isn't with us. I think it just like hangs onto my shoulder at all times. Okay, so it was like hanging on your shoulder when you're unconscious. I think it just flew up and sat at the ceiling to look at me like, ha, 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 ha. It's a junior high blood hawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, damn. I think I think I will retrain for that daily power. Cool. Uh sure shot. It does three when I'm using range weapon does three weapon plus dexterity modifier. Is it, uh, w what's range? Range what's attack. I mean, range well, what is the range? So it's like range of 10 or 20 or something? Whatever my bow is. And the, bow, the long bow is just ridiculous. That's all I can remember. Uh, it's probably 20. That's, that's a better one. Isolation strike is basically the same thing except with melee weapons. Can you twin strike with it? <laughs> um, target one or two enemies. Yeah. One or two? I would choose one two. Yeah, one or two creatures. Well, if it's the one creature, do you do it twice? I think so. Cool. What's the power? That'd be four weapon plus strength modifier. What's the power? Um, isolation strike. It says, uh, target one or two creatures hit two weapon plus strength modifier plus four damage. If the target is not your quarry, you push in a number of squares equal to your wisdom modifier one. Okay, <laughs> okay yeah, no, you, you do not get double if you, um, uh, target only one. Um, miss is half damage. Nice. Um, the flurry of attack knocks your opponent back, mm. allowing you to focus on a single foe. Huh. Um, Brent, mm -hmm. does the door to the north, or the opening to the north and the opening to the southwest both lead into that same big room that we're, um, that are, we're ordered in? Um, let me check them out. Let's see here. Um, yes, they do. Okay. Let me finish throwing that together. Yeah, like that. 
I decided to opt out my offhand parry and retrain it to Jaws of the Wolf. Fair enough. Because I never used offhand parry. <laughs> Those. I will need. Um, wait. Uh, well, my thing. And the book as well. Alright. So I need. Um, That doesn't look pretty. <laughs> it's a pushover. <laughs> you actually rolled terribly on initiative. I'm going to just put this in now. <laughs> that is pretty much my... I, I'm just, I can't get lower than that. Yeah. Yep. So I'm thinking. Did Dan say he wasn't able to make it check? Yes, he has uh, martial arts stuff, like all day. Uh, like uh, qualifying stuff. Yeah, that whole exam thing is the reason I never took an official martial arts <laughs> class. I, yeah. My dad said those things are terrible. Mm -hmm. so it's like three hours, and they just tell you to repeat different moves they taught you throughout the year. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's rough. It was much different for the Taekwondo I did. Mm -hmm. There was one of those, like... You can do the form? Okay, here's your belt, $50. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Nice. Oh, I didn't do that for too long. Yeah. The Taekwondo can be a bit of a racket in some places. Yeah. Also, I was like eight. Oh, true. Yeah. I actually took, let's see, yeah, it was Taekwondo. I took mm -hmm. Taekwondo, but my, um, I guess they didn't understand what my mom said. Ah. I was totally new to the um, idea of martial arts. Mm hmm like absolutely new to it and so I went in and we were just doing physical exercise mm -hmm. and then we started learning a few kicks mm -hmm. I did a kick wrong and I didn't know exactly what I did wrong mm -hmm. and the sensei told me to repeat it on him when I repeated it on him he flipped me over twice and threw me to the ground wow I was eight years old and brand new to martial arts wow I quit that day yeah you sure showed you. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't kick him. <laughs> he told me to. I'm so confused. <laughs> Almost got the wind knocked out of me. Mm. Almost. So yeah, taekwondo, not my thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I'm a fan of the tai chi. Tai Chi I like. Yeah. Not a lot of fighting. Yeah. yeah. There's this one I like. I forget what it's called. Um, but I cannot remember for the life of me, but it's it's more of a dancing um, oh. than anything. Oh, the kicks where you do a lot of it upside down, you're just kind of dancing and spinning around? Kind of, yeah. Um, it, it, it has a lot to do with flexibility and all that kind of stuff, mm. mostly. I forget what it's called. One second. Yeah. I think so. No, wait. Um, capoeira. Yeah, it's that. That is, that is my personal favorite. Uh, let's see here. So what is that? That's a JPEG. That's a JPEG. Um, so if I were to take... Um, trying to see if I can get the actual battle map working. Open. 
surprised it can't handle uh, that, that format. I will re-export it in a different format, and that will solve all of our problems, clearly. Hopefully. <laughs> no question. Um, I'll say copy. I'll do a ping. It'll take forever to load, but... Oh, but I can't... I'm going to have to restart game table. That would suck. You can save the map and then reload it. That's true. You just go to map. Yeah. Where's oh, the uh, load pop? Scan for pods. I can show the other... File, save map, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... That show up as no, it doesn't. You have to do that. File, save that as. Um, fine. Map. Um. All right, I'm gonna restart game table real quick. Okay. Actually, I'm going to drag out the old version so it doesn't have to load them both and possibly confused. Yeah. Loading, loading, loading. Oh. I'll open. Yes. All right. That's better. Um, I will rehost. Second. Okay, so I'm hosting again. Anyone try to join? All right. Let's see what happens. I'll play this I'm gonna. I'm bringing the um, map back in. I'm gonna throw in the map and see what happens. Actually, I'm not sure where it should be. But I'm just gonna throw it in, and we'll see if it loads. I have the question mark again. All right. Oh, I so don't. I might be loading. Hmm. Mine might be loading, hopefully, maybe. Okay. We shall see. I see nothing new. Hmm. Crap. Unless it's off to the side somewhere, I can't see that. No, it's right on top of where we were. It's huge. So we'll see. Yeah. Huge like me. We just slept in a very dangerous dungeon. Yes, you did. Mm. Isn't that like a big part of D&D, &D, though, taking a rest on some mm -hmm. of the levels? Mm -hmm. yeah. Setting up camp, yeah. putting up a little fire. Yeah. Roasting a minion. Yep. Oh, which Taking reminds me, I forgot to pick rest up that... Mm. Good. I forgot to pick up that zombie flesh and take a snack. Right. <laughs> I would have died. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, leaving it bad. Well, oh, it loaded for me. Um, okay. Bunch of rocks and the numbers in each room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just have uh, no anything. It would be about there. Uh, did you rejoin? I did rejoin. I will try it again. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. Um, it loaded. <laughs> this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. Nope. I got nothing. Mm. All right. Well, worst comes to worst. Actually, you guys would be in... Yeah, you're in that room. Um, uh, worst comes to worst, we can just kind of... Uh, um, basically, I'll rebuild some of these rooms with the walls. So... Nope, that made it worse. Worse how? Oh, no, I'm just disconnecting and rejoining oh. and things are... Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, I'm just making sure that confused right now. Yeah, the new map is slightly different than the old one. Yeah, Did but, you? um, I, it makes sense, at least. <laughs> Good. Oh, cool. 
We don't have to go any further. Uh, no, you do. Oh, we do? Actually, yes. That's something I, oh. I forgot to, to draw in. The, the, those doors aren't there. Oh. Yeah. In fact, that is not there either. Nor is that. I basically generated out the, the map and then forgot to change all the things I was going to change. Shoot! What did I just... Ah! Did you send it all to the bottom? Can you... Yeah, but how, I don't know how to bring something back up to the top or put it back, push it back to the bottom. Um, one second. Let me see here. S um, hopefully this doesn't hurt anything. I'm going to click set that. as background. Mm. I tried that. That was not the best idea. Uh, okay. did that do anything? No. Um, I can certainly... Oh, oops, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I set the texture as the background for the entire uh, game yeah. table. Um, and it's already an underlay, so I can't go any, any further down. Um, make the mm. other fogs that were, um, above it, um, overlays. I, I can't, because they're all underneath. Well, I guess replace them and try to, and try and yeah. them. Yeah, just rebuild them all. all right. Okay, how do we, um, how do we undo what I just, or he just did? Yeah, I apologize for that. No problem. I set the map as the background for game table and it looks terrible. <laughs> I, think I, I think I did that. No, I love game table and I don't love game table. Mm -hmm. um. Yeah, we want a wall there. Okay, that's simple enough. Close enough. Does the map ever, ever load for you, Chris? Um, if it's what I think it should be, then yeah. Oh, good. So it's like it's like two hallways converging into a room. And there should be a whole bunch of rooms and hallways visible. Like, like say, if we go north, we're in a hallway, and then we keep going, and we'll hit a room. Or if we go the bottom path, we're still in a hallway and go into a big room. That is correct. Good. Okay. And that's when we, when we fill up the rest of the, these hall, these walls. Are the rooms on. numbered for you, Chris? Uh, well, I don't have a map. I just have the walls. Oh. Oh, that's what I was asking. Is if the, that map showed up yet? Fix it. Yeah. Fix the background. Cool. Thank you. That was messing with my eyes. <laughs> okay, well, I'll try one more time. Alright. Next, join. Um. No, no, it's, um, huh. I'm rebuilding the whole thing right now. The convenience is in. That's not going to be there all. Matt, are you back yet? I never left. Oh, okay. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> um, Matt, <coughs> do you see the game table? No. Did you rejoin? Yeah, twice. So half of us see this, half of us don't. Okay. That's why I'm rebuilding it. Good enough. Um, now we are trapped in a room. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, those old walls are probably still yeah, up. Alright, fair enough, never mind. Never mind. We don't need to worry about where exactly that is. You are we're gonna be going to, to to the appropriate room. Okay, you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Sure. Alright. So the only um, place to go at this point is uh, west of you. And I think for convenience's sake, we're just going to have you all get all actually in the room so you don't get all clustered up the door. So I'll just sort of move you all down there, and you can rearrange as desired. This works, I guess, for me. Maybe. Um, 
I don't, under I don't understand where I am, but okay. As long as I'm on the front. Yeah, you're kind of in the front-ish. Um, how do I make it to where I'm not so much in the front-ish? Move however you want your, your bottom to be. Well, I, um, I, my map is really, really messed up. So. Yeah. There's, right. a wall, there's walls everywhere. Alright, let, let, let me just redo it from scratch then. I'm just going to create a box. Okay. Instead of worrying about where, where each door is. That's fun. As long as you know where the boundaries are. Yep. Locate my book. Where the heck I threw it? That's weird. Ah. I set it aside. So we won't, we won't do that. And then I don't know which ringtone would be worse. Right now my ringtone is Dongo from Clannad, and I'm thinking about oh, changing nice. it to the My Little Pony. <laughs> no, keep Dongo. Dongo, Dongo. That's why I woke up to this morning. Matt called me. I'm like, hello. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is this that right? Deer and Deer? Uh, let me check. Second. D-Y-R-A-N-D-I-R? Yep. Yeah. Actually, no. I'm going to change that. Yay, more stuff to burn. <laughs> Um, Remember what I said about collateral damage now? <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to have him here. Holy! <laughs> oh, um, since it's a new day, I'll let you know ahead of time that I set my daily spell to be Fire Warrior. Okay, good. Thank you for that. And the adults. And we'll put up our PC things. Guys can roll ahead and go ahead and roll for initiative. Alrighty. Go initiative, go. Please don't die on me this time. Uh, 19 um, for me. Yep, go ahead and just slap it in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, do we get Karyon's, um, plus two or no? Nope. I mean, he's still traveling with us, but... Right. Okay. Um... So I got a lovely max. <laughs> cool. Wow. Well, we all got above them. Nice. Um, Nor what's Normicus's initiative score? Plus two. Plus two. Okay, so mine's plus four, so I'll go before you. All right. I have plus nine. Jeez. I find it very disturbing how we all roll like almost 20s and then Normicus still doesn't. <laughs> it's still like in the last slot. Yeah. Good. So you guys all go before they do. So let's do this thing. <laughs> I love how you said that. Um, okay, so. 
I'm, I think I'm going to open this battle the exact same way I opened the last one and use the covering volley. Mm. Um, then it, I guess it's my turn? Yeah. Yep. Um, so I'm going to use covering volley to cover this area. Alright. Um, and I'm going to, uh, they have no names. Someone, name of face and stuff, and Tim. Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll. We, we can figure it out. Okay. So I'm going from left to top two. So the uh, I missed the one on the left. Okay. Um, uh, face and Tim, I rolled... Um, what is that? <coughs> uh, 15 plus... I rolled a 23. Versus? Face and Tim. And a versus what d a defense? AC. AC? 23, that's a hit. Um, Douglas, I roll a uh, da, 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 21. That'll hit. Um, and against Blarg, I roll, my dice is hiding behind my Fyodor can. I roll a 18. Hit. So I hit everyone but Roar. Mm. Um, Against Face and Tim, I did 13 damage. Okay, again, you only roll damage once. Oh, then I do 13 damage. Okay. Axe, which is awesome. 13. Alright. Against Douglas, Blarg, and Face and Tim. Alright. Those two go splat. Face and Tim takes a little damage. Um, and at the start of my next turn, whoever's in there takes five damage. Okay. Sure. I'd like to roll a nature check on Face and Tim. Alright. Nature check. Do not fail me now. You just got, like, beefed. And I rolled a 1, which gives me an 11. Nope. <laughs> Nothing we're going to find out from that one. I think it's a bunny. Yeah, pretty much. It has cute ears. Okay. Alright, so i Yep. Um... I'm um, kind of too far to do my regular attacks, so mm -hmm. I'm going to start off with a command on, uh, let me see if I can hit, yeah, I can hit him, on Ronald. Okay. Um, so, yikes. Um, 13 versus reflex on Ronald. Miss. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll try a nature check on face and Tim. All right. I need to figure Much out better. a nature check. Number. Um, and I have that mod, so 21. Alright. Let me just look at something real quick. Make sure no I'll check. Um, mm -hmm. um, Alright, that was a. Right. Okay. So, uh, that's on Face and Tim. That is a yep. Kruthic High Lord. It is a large natural beast, even though it only has a medium tile. You should probably fix that. Oh, bit too Whoa. much. Sorry. Hello. Misclick, misclick. There we go. Um, is a... Uh, yes, yeah, it's an elite controller. It has a uh, unaligned uh, perception, tremor sense. Um, it has two powers: a claw attack, which is pretty much as expected, and then an acid blast, which is what it sounds like. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Um. Then. Um. Since I can't really see the actual map, do I know if there's any other in like doorways in this room? There are other doorways, yes. Um. Okay. Why do you, I, why do you ask? Uh, I was I was just wondering because last time things snuck in. 
Okay. Um, I guess, yeah, that'll be my turn then. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a doorway directly west of you. Um, there is another doorway uh, to the northwest of the room, and then another doorway to the northeast of the room. So sort of on every corner. Okay. Okay, so... <coughs> um, scorching Burst on mm. Face and Tim, Roar, and Smith. He should be actually be down. No, that's fine. And yep. these will all be versus Reflex. All right. So, um, 20 on Smith. 20 on Smith. Uh, hits. Um... Nine on Roar. Miss. And twenty two on Face and Tim. Hit. Alrighty. So that's max damage, so that's mm. um, Oh sorry, eleven. Alright. So that splatters Smith. Very good. Anything else? Um, I'm going to move here so no one can get flanked. Okay. And that will be it. All right, Matt. Theoretically. A uh, fiery ball on Face and Tim. Okay. And that's a 20 against reflex. Hit. Um, D6. D6. Nine plus ten plus thirteen damage on Face and Tim and Raw, Samson, Duke, all take seven damage. All right. Good. Is it Raw and Minion? I'm sorry, which one did you say were attacked? Ronald, Duke, and... Raw. Not Ronald. Raw. Oh, okay. So... All right. Essentially, the adjacent creatures to face them. Okay, gotcha. And that's the end of my turn. All right. These guys can move. And they're going to do that. Uh, actually, I, I take that back. Duke's going to go here. Because... They hunker down and poison spikes fly out everywhere. Okay. So Tyrandir and so Tyrandir is uh, 23 versus AC. Hit. Alright, that is nine damage. Oops. Um James, uh, 19 versus AC, won't do it. Um, and then Ronald attacks James. That's going to be, uh, 23 versus AC. Oh, uh, that just hit me. Alright. Uh, so that will be... Poisoned. Um, oh, shoot. Um, oh. Uh, 10 damage. Ongoing poison. And he now has ongoing 5 damage. Not tight. Right. So. Um, oh yeah, did I get poisoned? Yes, you did. Okay. Uh, and then Ronald also the, uh, the other attack against is against Normicus. That is nineteen versus his AC. Hit. Hit four. I'm sorry. I have uh, seventeen versus reflex. Hit. All right. Uh, the oh max damage twenty. <laughs> Um, 13 damage plus ongoing 5 and slow to say that means. Okay. Alright, and then. Boom, 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 boom. 
Oh, Lord. Actually, he's going to go right here. Um, he hisses and acid spews out all over all of you. And we are going to do this. All right. Um, James, 21 versus Fortitude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Terrandir, 20 versus Fortitude. Yes, sir. Uh, Normicus, 25 versus Fortitude. It. Shada, 22 versus Fortitude. It. All right. You all, oh man, max damage. Uh, 14 acid damage, ongoing 5 acid damage, and weakened. Save ends both. Yikes. Oh god. Yeah. And now he has acid damage on him. Well, not acid damage, 5 damage. Correct. And then he moves... Also, Face and Tim was in the volley. At the start of his turn. Yes. So, uh, how much damage does he take? He takes uh, five damage. All right. No um, problem. And how much damage did he do to us? Where's my eraser? That how was, damage? I believe, if that, that was my damage. So, f uh, 14 damage. Oh, okay. So, 32 minus 14 minus 10 that I take for this damage. I have eight health. <laughs> I'm at 9 health. I need to be healed before my next turn, mm. or else I'm taking 10 damage. Why 10? Um, I'm going 5 poison and I'm going 5 acid. Yep. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't just take 1? No, those are two different kinds of damage. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's painful. Yep. It's not very nice of him. No, it's not. <laughs> this is what we call a boss battle in D&D uh, &D terms. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna try out my new daily power that I can't exactly remember what it does, so I have to open that back up. It's called Jaws of the Wolf. Okay. I'm gonna have to open back up uh, uh, the character creator. Mm. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna shift here. Ah uh, yeah, this is gonna be painful because they're all gonna go for me. But I'm gonna shift here. So I've got um three more rolls and then a crit. So, it's going to be interesting. You, like, pre-roll everything or something? Yeah, this session I've got everything pre-rolled. Oh, that's interesting. Um, any, any reason you're doing that way? Just, um, to try it out. Go ahead. Go with your turn. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to load this up. It's taking forever. Mm. It's called Jaws of the Wolf, if anyone, can know. If, if anyone else can look it up faster than me. Um, I can try. Jaws of the Wolf. Uh, melee weapon. You must be wielding two melee weapons. Target one creature. Attack. Strength versus AC. Main weapon and offhand weapon. Two attacks. Hit. Two W plus strength modifier damage per attack. Miss. Half damage per attack. Alright. Okay then. Do I have to roll for both attacks or just that, just that one? You have to roll for each. Okay, so... The first attack is going, ah, don't fall off the edge. It's going to be a 20 versus AC. Miss. Oh, wow, this is painful. Um, the other one is going to be a 26 versus AC. Hit. Okay, so... so two, two, uh, two W plus strength mod. Yeah, so that would be, for the first miss is, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, you, you, uh, since you missed the first one, you still do half damage for that one. Yeah, I know. Uh, my strength mod is that. Um, divide by two. The first attack did six damage. Yeah. Okay. And then the second one will do. Nice. Um. Wow! Oh, holy crap! Um, the second attack will do. Uh, a lot more damage. It will do 19 damage. Okay. And that will. I'm just going to say that will effectively end my turn because I don't know what else to do. Okay. Did you take your ongoing damage? Uh, I did, and yeah, I have to right. save and throw. Yep. Good. So I save for each one. Well, we can and acid go for the same one, right? Um, yes. 
So poison saving throw do not fall off my desk in eleven. Alright, that's off. Um and weakened and acid is a ten exactly. Alright, so that that's that's success. Alright, so you did twenty five damage to so your weakened, so that's half that. So that's twelve. Alright. Very good. So I'm up. Yep. All Save right. me. I know. I'm going to move here and do my daily power again. Mm -hmm. Speaking of hope. Uh, so I'm going to start with Ronald. Or actually, no, no, no. Before I do my uh, daily power, I'm going to use my channel divinity to my fortune as a free action to give me a plus one for my rolls. Okay. So uh, the first one is um, 18 versus, uh, is it reflex or, uh, hold on, I gotta check if it's reflex or will. 64... Um, uh, so yeah, what is, 12, so yeah, 18 versus Will for Ronald. Hit. Alright. Uh, so, 8 versus Will for Face and Tim. Uh, miss, yeah. <laughs> 7. Where's, uh, for, uh, Duke. Uh, the miss, middle. yeah. We're the 12, 2, and 1. Ooh. Uh, all right, well, anyway, one hit, that's all that I needed. Uh, Ronald is weakened okay. until the end of uh, its next turn. Uh, all of us get 8 HP. Mm. Um, so I lost 5, so like that. Um, so with 8 HP, um, so let's, who, who's bloodied? I know, Tyrion, you're so bloodied, right? I'm mm -hmm. bloodied. You're bloodied? Um, Normicus. Wait, hold on. I'm not bloodied. No, I'm not bloodied yeah. anymore. I'm one above being bloodied. Oh, it's such a bloodied. Change that. Um, so Tyrion needs the health then, right? Uh, yeah, I'm one point above being bloodied. Where? How far are you away from bloodied, James? I'm 16. My bloodied is 21. Okay. So, so you're bloodied right now? Yeah, I'm changing. Oh. Um, however, Tyrandir is about to take 10 damage. Yeah, Tyrandir is about to take 10 damage. I'm so probably about to take, uh, like, 50. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, luckily, uh, let's, I'm going to burn it right now, but I'm going to have to, since I've got it, oh, actually, I can do it once per round. I was going to use action point, but, uh, I can't, because I can only use healing wood once per round. I'll use it on Tyrandir, because I don't want him to die just yeah, yet. Yeah, he, he can burn things. Uh, no, D. So I'm using healing word on tier and deer. Two plus three plus five, so ten plus your healing surge. Ooh. Nice. Okay, and then I am going to use my action points to um, use oh, no. uh, dragon breath, and I'm going to point it forward with a bl uh, blast of five. Okay. So it will attack everyone. So mm -hmm. start with Ronald. Uh, that's 14 versus a uh, 14 reflex. Miss on Ronald. Miss. Uh, okay, and then 24 versus reflex on face and Tim. Uh, 24 uh, as a hit. Okay. And then a uh, 22 versus reflex on Duke. Hit. Okay, so. I need to roll for damage. Uh, okay, so Face and Tim and Duke take six fire damage. Okay. James and Tyrion Deer get three temporary hit points. Ooh. And that's my turn. Alright. Ten. Alright. <coughs> okay. I roll for my saves after I do my attack, right? Correct. Alright. Um, I need to roll my save right now, actually. True. Is the, I, I'm just acid and weakened, so does... Oh, actually weakened, so yeah, I was weakened from the acid, right? Oh, true. So it's only three damage to them. Yeah, all right. Uh, so I roll to save both? Yes. Okay, I saved both. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. I'm going to... Uh, since it's all weakened anyway, I'm going to use an at-will so I don't waste anything. Mm. Um, scorching burst on face and Tim and Duke as well. Okay. So, 
um, critical on Face and Tim. Nice. And uh, 14 on Duke, and that's versus Reflex. And Duke, Reflex, Miss, just barely. All right, and a critical would be 9, split that in half. Four. All right. And I need to roll my saves. Right. 12. Good. I uh, guess I'll do that one on the poison, and then the next one, the acid. Um, 18 on the acid, All right, and then good. do I save for weaken? No, that, 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 there's one combined. Oh, okay. Yep. All righty. I'm clean. <laughs> my turn. You're next. Uh, Eldritch Blast on this, and Tim, who is my Wallops curse. Okay. And that's miss. Um... um. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. Alright. And now they're going to start punching me. Oh, hi. So, Ronald Claw attack. Uh, 27 versus AC. I'm sorry, 29 versus AC. Um, yeah. And then, uh, the next one's 16 versus AC. I think, yeah. That'll miss. So the first one uh, is... Is it uh, Ronald? Uh, yes. Because he's weekend. Yep. Um, so uh, so uh, that would have been a total of nine, so he deals a total of four damage. I am still alive. Yeah. Um, now that weekend is just for the turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, well, that's I all. Think, I think mm -hmm. Ronald has to take five killing damage. He does indeed. Let me just undo that. Um, so that is his damage. Uh, we will see if he. Oh, he does not shake that. And um, this reminds me that. Yeah, that's shake. All right. Um, so now facing Tim goes. And, ah! Remember that quit I was talking about? Uh, nope, yeah, that's just what's coming up next. And that is going to be a total of... Uh... I ouch. I knew you well. 22 damage against James. Curse these pre-rolls. Okay, so I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> or unconscious, anyway. Yeah. I got you, dude. I got you. All right, that's it for him. And now let's see if I die. Yeah. No, I do not die. Okay. So it's to me? Yep. Yep. All right, uh, quick fix. Healing word on James. Mm. Um, two, so it's ten plus your healing surge. So count from zero. Uh, that's 20. So you get 20, you're at 20 HP. Yeah. I'm still bloodied. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but you're alive. Yay! Alive. Um, I got, uh, I'm not going to move. Nature check on Ronald. I kind of want to know how much health he has. Okay, gotcha. It's, uh, 23. Um, he is just barely damaged out of his 67 uh, HP. Oh, wow. So he's only taken, like, five. Uh, Already? Points. Yeah. Um... So, who... Does anyone still have the uh, need a save throw? Nope. No? Okay. I need um, one. You need one? All right, I will, I will attempt a, uh, a sacred flame on um, Ronald. Uh, 20 versus reflex on Ronald. That is a hit. Okay. So, um, Roland takes seven damage, and I will allow Normicus to make a saving throw. 17. Um, cool. Which, uh, which one do I remove? I don't know. Your oh, choice. Not the acid. Your choice. I'll remove the acid damage. All right. Uh, then that's my turn. Okay. All righty. I am going to... Face step back here, hopefully to avoid a little bit of damage later mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And 
and I'm going to use Chill Strike. Mm. Um, which, yeah. So the Chill Strike, I'm going to cast that on Face and Tim. Yeah. Oh, this is my ace, so. Mm. Come on, come on. Uh, no, that's good. Um, 26. <laughs> that hit? Versus Fortitude. Yeah. And now. It's not bad. Okay, so. Oh, that's. Sorry, I was using the wrong die. Mm. Seventeen damage versus face and ten. Okay, are you still weakened? No. Okay. And um Yeah, that'll end my turn. Alright. I'll take the blast on face and tip. Alright. And that's sixteen against reflex. Miss. Alright. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Oh, no, I need to take a saving throw. Okay. And the damage. Uh, 14, so, no damage. Cool. Alright. Ronald and Duke whack away at James. Of course they do. Good drop right after you wrote me back. 22 versus AC. No. 27 versus AC. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, 16 damage. Yeah, I, I'm going to drop. Again. Ouch. Are you kidding me? 16 I'm damage? I'm not kidding you. And he shakes off the ongoing. So they're good. Uh, Face and Tim, meanwhile, spews acid at Shaddai and Normicus. Oh, come on. Oh, thank God. Um... I don't need this right now. 18 versus Shadaz Fortitude. Um, I was hoping it was AC. Nope. Mm. I mean, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. 17 versus Normicus's Fortitude. Yeah. Alright. Um, oh, ho, he rolls a 1 on damage. So, 7 acid damage, plus 5 ongoing, and weakened. Jeez. How did that thing do 16 damage? God. Yeah. It's a nasty thing. Um, and actually, you know what it's going to do? Nope. Um, it's move action. It's going to move here. It's gonna uh -huh. And it's going to use an action point uh -huh. to attack Tyrandir. And my next is yeah, he rolls a... Ooh. Yeah. Um, 30 versus AC. That's a hit. Yeah. Uh, 20 damage, claw attack. Whack! That puts me at 5 HP. Don't you come in here, boy! You still have more HP than me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Face and Tim is done. Then it is back up to me. Yeah. And I have no idea what to do, because I could, could spend a healing surge... You're and, unconscious. And no, I'm not unconscious. Oh, okay. I thought that that took you down. No, I I'm at four health. You okay. went from twenty down to four. Okay. Um, I could use a second win, but I'll probably still die in the next turn, mm -hmm. seeing as how much damage they're all doing to me. So I'm just gonna say screw it and shift here and use um dire wolverine strike. Okay. Um. And I will start with Face and Tim. Who is um, in a flank? Who is a, well, what do I do with a flank? Just add, add two. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. So I will roll for him, and that will be a a twenty-five versus AC. Success. Um, Ronald, I will roll, and that will be a 28 versus AC. Okay, success. Um, and Duke will be a, uh, um, okay, so I'm going to, 
actually finally used another encounter power called mm. um, Elven Accuracy, which lets me re-roll an attack roll. Okay. I rolled a two. Yep. <laughs> which was horrible. Um, I rolled a three. Ah, all right. <laughs> um, so, uh, facing Tim is... Uh, I keep forgetting that Markham is my hunter score. Um, oh well. Uh, one more... Yeah, it was no Uh, I do. Wow, max damage. Um. Uh. Eight plus five. Uh, thirteen damage to face and Tim. Alright. And. Well, she picked the same, right? Right. Oh, and uh, thirteen damage to Ronald. Both of them I rolled eight. Which is well, nice. Again, you only rolled damage once. Oh. Well, no, it, it's because it says each enemy, and it just looks like it would be you attack each one. You do, but you only roll damage once. Uh. All right, so that bloody is facing Tim. Looking good. All right. Um, I'm totally going to die. Mm. Normicus, what's your health at? Two, I think. Two? And you're taking ongoing damage. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to uh, do my uh, do a heal skill on you so you can use your second wind? Uh, okay. Okay. So I will um, roll. Actually, I don't need to roll to give someone a second wind because I need to get a minimum of ten, and mm. my my skill is ten. Okay. So um, yeah, use your use your second wind. Okay. Done. Um. Then I am going to. Uh, I don't. Mm, I kind of. I want to be a hero, but I don't want to die. Yeah. Oh, actually, I. Oh, I took. I take on doing damage too. So now I'm mm. bloodied. Mm. I can't be the hero yet. Hold on a little bit longer, James. <laughs> <laughs> um. dead next turn. Well, um. I'll do what I... Actually, I'm going to shift here and end my turn. Yeah, I'm in my turn. All right. Okay. I am going to shift back oh. here. Okay. And I, I save for my, my acid. Oh, good. And um, give me one second. Going to summon Fire Warrior. Yeah. And is the summoning itself a standard action? I don't know. It depends I on what the, the oh. power says. Um. Uh, well, it's a minor action to summon it. Okay. okay. Good. So I'm going to attack Base and Tim with, let's see, let's critical, so it doesn't matter. Please. <laughs> so that's. Thirteen damage. Right. Cool. And let's see. Yeah, that'll end my turn. All right. Same thing as last time. Eldritch blast on face and Tim. All right. And that's a miss. And I need to roll a saving throw. Yep. Yeah. And I saved. Okay. Cool. Did you do your ongoing damage? Yeah, I'm taking it now. Okay. It's five, isn't it? Yeah. Alrighty. That's based on Tim's save from his throw, from his point of damage? Yes, he did. Uh. Alright. Um, James is still alive, right? Yeah. Uh. For now. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to go with... Oh, yeah. Uh, 27 versus AC. Uh-huh. Um, actually, let's see how that one rolls first. Um, yeah. Uh, nine damage. Okay. All right, then second attack is... Uh, 23 versus AC. Yeah. All right. Uh, 12 damage. I am unconscious. Oh! Alright, then, facing Tim, 
will just... I think he's going to swipe away at that thing that appeared in front of him. He's kind of surprised. Um, so, 22 versus AC. 22 versus AC, that hits. All right. Dealing. 18 damage. And he's gone. All right. So, he manages to lash out at that creature and, and slice him away. He's done. Me. Yeah. Uh, well, that was stay in the I guess that the best thing to do is get the cleric back up because mm. we're all almost dead. Yeah. Oh, well, think about it. I only have one more thing that I can use to heal someone. Mm. So mm. you pick me up with your standard action, and then I can hopefully be up, and then I can like just get knocked back down. I don't mm. know. Or Good I ball. could try and attack Face and Tim. Right. I mean, he is bloody, but... Um, cool. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna... I'm, first, I'm going to use a minor action to set him as my hunter's quarry, because okay. I'm forgetting to do this. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use Twin Strike, like I always do, mm. on him. Um, so the first attack is going to be a f 14 versus AC, um, no. Yes. The second attack is going to be a 29 versus AC. That is it. Um, <coughs> okay, so that means I have to roll for damage. Um, okay. Okay. 13 damage. Alright. Um, and then... I'm going to, whatever, I'm going to shift here, and I'm mm. going to spend an action point. Ah. Um, so this, is, this is a boss battle, I'm just going to go out loud. Um, and I'm going to, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to try and... Heal check. This. Heal check. Hmm. About 15, at least. Oh, God. Don't fail me now, dice. Oh, okay, um, 21. Okay, cool. So. Awesome sauce. So I pick you up for you to die in a couple seconds. <laughs> Ugh. Bugs. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you hated lizard, but not bugs. I hate them all. <laughs> I'm a scholar, not a big fan of critters. <laughs> Okay, so my turn. Uh, what tricks do I have up my sleeve? Anything that can take me away from five damage? <laughs> Not from here, I don't. Ah. Well, I have second wind and one healing potion left. Mm. Yeah, I, I should probably second wind myself. Actually, um... Yeah. Um... I'm going to... Uh, Alright, uh, what's everyone's health at? Five. Oh, is your bloody... Put that down. Um, by the way, are you taking ongoing damage? No. Okay. Uh, James? I'm at four health, no ongoing damage. Normicus? Seven. Seven, and I am at the most health with an astonishing nine. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, um, I have... Faith in James's accuracy of hitting things, so I'm going to use Cure Light Wounds on him, so he gets uh, five plus his healing, uh, healing surge value mm. of hit points. So I gain uh, fifteen hit points. Okay, and then I'm going to shift here to get out of flank, and then I'm going to use uh, my minor action Nature Check on Faith and Tim to check his hit points. Okay. Uh, 17. Yep, you can tell he's at 117 damage. Taken? Yep. Okay. Well, that's a lot, but too bad I don't know his maximum health. Yeah. Alright, well, that's my turn. Alrighty. Um, what kind of action is a second wind? Standard. Standard. 
standard. Let's you use a, your, let's you spend a healing surge and you gain plus two to all defenses for a turn. All right, I'm gonna not do that and just minor action a healing potion. So that brings me back to, where's my surge value? Ah. So at least I'm at 13 health. Okay. And now for an attack. I am going to go all out this time. Um, first with... Uh, I need to get close for these, don't I? Yeah. So uh, if I step up next to it, I'm taking a... Yeah. Oh, crap. What's the burst? Three. Okay, I can do that. So fire shroud. Um, will a 19 versus Fortitude hit Face and Tim? Versus Fortitude, no. Crap. Yeah. All right, so action point. Mm. And will a 22 versus Reflex hit Face and Tim? It will. Good. So that's um, sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. All right. Good hit. He is still up. And to move action to get a little bit further away. <laughs> Um, turn. Uh, Brad, do a perception check. Uh, perception check? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, 21. Okay. Uh, you, s you sidled up next to, despite that being a doorway, it's basically a closed off doorway. And you notice that basically boulders have been moved into, sp into place to uh, hold it there. You notice the boulders were moved there very recently. And you can just barely hear on the other side of that um, movements and what sounds like voices. Hmm. Um, not like not like loud voices, but the people talking to each other back and forth in some way. Let's see. Could I take a free action and ask for help? Sure. See, that doesn't. All right. I take a free action and shout through the boulders. Is there any way we could get any help out here? Hopefully that doesn't bring out enemies. Hopefully that doesn't bring out enemies. <laughs> hey, if, if I said it, it would have brought out enemies. <laughs> While he's doing that, Matt. Um, okay. Shift here and try and punch Ronald in the face with a mace. So it's not really punching. I punch you with my weapon. Ooh. And that's a 18 against AC. Against AC on the adult. Um... That is just barely a miss. Sorry. Um, 1980. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, well, Jared, dear, what voice, what, what languages do you know? Um, I know Common, Elven, and I think that's it, but let me check my character sheet real quick. I don't have it written down in front of me. Okay. Um, yeah, just common and elven. I can learn different ones, but it takes a while. Sure. Um, you hear a few words in common, sort of shouted back and forth, but um, it, it sounds like more surprise and interest in what's going on and not so much immediate help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... Hi. Hi. Ooh, um, yeah, uh, 26 versus AC, hmm. let's think, um, 8 damage, Ow. and the other one's going to miss, they rolled a 2, um, Face and Tim, it really likes its acid, it's going to acid spit you, you all again, <clears throat> but what do you mean by you all? I'm um, sorry, uh, James, no one and shut up. Oh. Yeah. Um, so the first will be against James, he's closest, and he rolls a one. 
Um, then Normicus. He spills it on his feet. Yeah. Uh, 25 versus Fortitude. Tip. And then Shaddaa, 19 versus Fortitude. Uh huh. Alright. Uh, 1d8. Uh, 12 acid damage. Unconscious. Ouch. I'm unconscious. Oh! Not looking good. Plus five ongoing, we can... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. All right, so that means... Okay, well then. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to roll... Uh, can I roll a nature check on Faith and Tim to see how much max... How much hit points he had you out of his max? You bet you can. Come on, I have a good nature. Don't fail me now. <laughs> Would a 26 help me? He has 15 HP remaining. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hopefully say Teenager won't die because of Ronald the Duke. I'm going <laughs> to shift here, and I'm going to I'm going to try to kill Face and Tim with this one last blow before right. Face and Tim, not Face and Tim, before Ronald and Duke kill me. Mm. Because they're, they're, they're kind of keen set on that, aren't they? They are. Um, and so... You're pink and meaty. Don't miss now. I have a high plus to my attacks. Um, would a 22 versus AC hit? Hit, uh, uh, Faze and Tim? Yeah. Why, yes, it would. Oh, my God. It <laughs> okay. Um, he has exactly 22 AC. Well, that's another 22, then. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, I, I was afraid that it was 23 or something, because mm. I think I missed with the 21 before. Mm -hmm. Um, and that would be... Okay, let's just start rolling. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I think... Yes, I think this will do it. I did 26 damage. Alright. Um, <laughs> let me just make sure he doesn't have anything else that... Does anything... No, he doesn't. And facing him goes down. So got two more of those little, uh... Guys, there though. Uh, yeah. Alright. Should I while you do your death save here and there? Alrighty. Um. Uh, my third or fourth twelve in a row. Oh. Okay. We're good. Okay. Should I normal kiss are both unconscious, right? Correct. Alright. So I don't have to worry about hitting them. Mm. So I'm going to target the two left mm -hmm. with scorching burst. Okay. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. It's 24 Hits. on the one to the left. Hits on Ronald. And 18 on the one to the right. Um, it versus AC? Uh, versus Reflex. Hit. Cool. So, damage to both of them is max. Ooh. So, 6. 11. Alright. And Ronald is buddied. Alright. Please roll two. Normicus. I think they're gonna do 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 do. And uh, what was that, Matt? I saved against my um okay. death thing. Okay. Save as in like a roll twenty? Roll to twelve. Okay. Hey, you can meet both, brother. <laughs> and then... Okay, so the first one is going to roll a two. And then going to roll a five, actually. <laughs> you lucked out there. All right. Um, back up to you, Mike slash James. Well, they stop blinking me. Mm. Um, Just go all out on Ronald. Yeah, mm. that's, what that's what I was going to do. I'm going to shift here, and I'm going to... I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna use my minor action to make Ronald my hunter's glory before I forget that. Yep. Um. And then I'm going to twin strike like I always do. Mm. And that's not a d20. That's a d20. Um. Uh, would a 20 versus AC hit? It would. Lovely. Um. Hey, another 20. All right. <laughs> and rolling time. One wow, and wow, that was 
abysmal compared to last time, but mm. 16. 16? Not bad. Alright, you still up. Mm. So, should I uh, say... Oh, right. We're going through this quickly. Uh, one strike. Alright, you're there? Alright, um, Scorching Burst again. Uh, seven versus Reflex on Ronald. And no. Um, 18 versus Reflex on Duke. Yes. Excuse me. Right. Sure. So that is nine damage on Duke. Alrighty. Cool. He's still there and unbloodied. That's a good hit. Um, alright. Seth. Alright. Alright, then... Yep. Uh, 23 versus AC. That's just a hit. There's a hit. The other one is much lower, so that won't work. Um, 14 damage. And I dropped. Alright. Oh boy. Crap, crap, crap. crap. Alright, Tyrion Deer. Alright, um... Whew. Got one unbloodied and one bloodied foe. Wait, but we all need to roll our saves, don't we? I assume you have been. Well, no, I mean, like, the, the creatures just win, so now it's James' turn, too. Oh, right, yes. Okay. James. Dice, please don't hate me. It hated me. I take a strike. All right. My turn? Yep. Ah, uh, 18. So close. Okay, ah, close. I have limited myself to Scorching Burst, so I have okay. to use that again. All right. Oh, thank God. Uh, critical versus Ronald. Okay, good. <laughs> and a critical... Oh! Why can't we use criticals? <laughs> Two 20s in a row. Oh, my. Wow. God. <sighs> right when you needed them. Man. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if I should um, roll again. <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't feel right. That just felt... Uh. <laughs> What's okay. in the matrix? So... That's, um, that's, uh, 11 damage All right. to both of them. 41. Um, all right, that drops Ronald and bloodies Duke. All right. How many action points have we built up that so far? None. This is a new day. Oh. Yeah. Um, he does not have a right. All right. Um, then I guess it's Duke's turn. Oh, Normicus saving throw. True. Sorry. <coughs> Miss. All right. Mm -hmm. Ah. That is as far as it can get. Oh, good. <laughs> So it's it's coming right at you. It's it's coming at you. It's, it's ready. Um. He's trying to pick me up. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I'm gonna try to work my way around. Okay. Oh, I don't. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, that's the farthest I can get. Um. One second. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, uh, real quick, I'm going to do a nature check, see how many hit points Duke has left. All right. And that's a total of... Uh, that brings me to 19. He has 26 hit points remaining. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to Scorching Burst and hope the damage is good. Mm -hmm. Will a... I think, yeah, 19 versus Reflex hit. Yes. In that case... Six, uh, 10 damage. Alright. And... <laughs> Any movement? Um... 
as well. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. Yeah, I'm going to move here, see if that does anything. All right. Um, yeah, so Normicus rolls. Pray for 20. Save. Oh, yeah, me, right. and, me and should all have to roll saving, don't we? True. Uh, I, I don't. All right. Know. Oh, I see. I'm up. I'm up. Oh! Net 20. <laughs> I saw that. I'm up. Awesome. All right. So let me just check something real quick. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the death saving throw... I mean, what that, when that happens... I go, I go to one hit point. Right. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to figure out, does that mean... Like, does that use up any of your actions? I just want to make sure it doesn't. Um, dying, um, I'm hired the killing surge, um, your conscious is still prone, um, at the end of your turn each round. So, you're back up, but you, that, you, you know, you can't make your turn, unfortunately. There you go. Alright, okay, so, um, I guess the Shadok came up just as Tyrandir uh, did his stuff and moved. Normicus did his thing, so now it's Duke's turn. Duke's desperate. Miss me, miss me, miss me. Oh, he might. He probably will. Um, 16 versus AC. Miss! Nice! And only thanks to the amulet. <laughs> there we go. He probably should have been using some range attacks here, but oh well. All right, um, so that's back up to James for his death saving throw. Do I die? Um, no, I, I just I just lay there. All right. Um, I guess I'm awake. Shadala saves the day. I am I am awake. You're awake. All right. Um, question. So I'm prone, right? Yes. What action is it to get up from prone? Move action. Full move action. Okay. Can I move while prone? Check. Uh, I I will check. I don't think so. Because I need I need to be adjacent to someone to well stabilize. I mean, kind of the point of prone is that you are you know not moving. So let me just check. Um, I thought it was like half speed. It it, it may well be. Let me just check. Um, there are all those conditions. Like you have higher defense against ranged attacks. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. But it says. Um. Yeah. You're, you're correct. You can, you can move half your speed, up to half your speed, while you are prone. Can I still take a standard action while prone? Um. Yeah. Okay, so say I want to crawl over to Normicus, like, hey, buddy, what's up? That's and fine. then use a, a peel check on him? Yeah, that's fine. All right, well, then I will do that. All right. I just need, uh, yeah, easily. So, yeah, he's up. All right, nice. Use a healing surgy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's pretty much my turn. Okay. Alright, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to use second wind now. Okay. Just to be sure. So, um, so I'm back to 21 HP, and what what defenses go up until my next, end of my next uh, turn? All defenses by two. Okay. Cool. And I'm going to... Eh, it might not do much, but I'm going to shift here. Alright. Alright. What's my turn? Yep. Yep. I'll just blast on Duke. 
That's a 23 against reflex. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. And that's 10 damage. 10 damage. And that's the end of my turn. Alright, he is still up, just barely. Um. So, he gets to do something. He is going to use his toxic spikes. No! Which have a range of... Alright, so he's going to do this. My defenses are up. Please help me. No, he's going to attack uh, Normagus and Shadok. Oh. oh what? what? <laughs> but they have plus two for range to attack. True. So, um, that is going to be um, 17 versus AC against no uh, Normagus. Hit. Alright. You have plus two, remember that. Alright, um, and then the other one is a crit against Shada. Oh, come on. Yeah. So the first Sorry. one is uh, 8 damage against Normicus, and the other is uh, 13 damage against Shada. I'm back down. <laughs> ah! Matt, um, you, you have plus 2. Would the 17 still hit you? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't realize your AC was so low. Yeah. Alright. That's it for them. And I'm right. still down. Right. So, uh, yeah, James, make your saving throw. Don't die on me now, boy. Oh, 20! Oh, nice! nice. <laughs> Alright. So, so, so you're up. So you're up, I, Chris? I, I, am, I am awake. <laughs> Alright, so now it's my turn? Yep. Uh, seven, so it's a miss. Uh, okay, right. Is the Daving throw, throw failures just reset every day or something? Um, yes, it's reset every day. Okay, so that was oh, my second round. Yeah. yeah. Ouch. Oh, God, yeah, don't die, boy. Yeah, that's hey, second bad. Uh, Tyrandir's up, right? Yep. I believe Duke has 6 HP, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Um, I can check that real quick just to be sure. Um, and... Will 17 tell me how much HP he has left? It will not. Dang. Um, well, I have plenty of health just in case, mm. so I'm going to go ahead and magic missile as to not risk a miss and do okay. six. Six damage. That is exactly his HP total. Woo! All right. Woo! That was impressive. Um, and that gives you each a grand total of 250 XP. All right. 250. Four, three, You notice in this chamber there are quite a few Kruthic dead bodies. They're like way more than you actually kill. So you're basically on some kind of a battlefield type thing. Um, James would like to kick one of the acoustic <laughs> bodies that attacked him and said, Stop killing me! Fair <laughs> enough. Um, and so uh, I'd like to move over here and do a perception check on whatever's that way. Um, that is also a blocked uh, doorway. Um, can I do, can, can I hear their voices? Um, let me see. I'm going to put a record right now. I'm spending healing surges. Okay. <laughs> um, no, you do not hear voices from in there. Um, can I see it through any cracks or nothing? Nope. Um, okay. I, you also notice, um, uh, in a corner, just for, you know, uh, for purposes, a 90 gold and a potion of healing. to shout through the boulders one more time. Okay. I shout... Actually, I can use my magic to check further. Okay. So, um, almost directly to them, I say, all is clear, we're friendly, is it okay if we hold up with you guys for a night? Something like that. The response is... Then 